Thank you for yes, tuning sir. in. Thank um, you. Myself and Clever Art go by JXK. Like, J, you know, it's jo- Johnny Frey's cro- uh, Cross Clever Art designs. Yes, and uh, we've been doing this for a little bit more than two years. But we, we actually formed like a mini business, you know, um, two years ago. And we did a season one uh, portfolio. You guys can go, go back on my YouTube channel and you can check that out. But also follow us on the bottom. You guys see all the stuff on the bottom. Clever Art is basically the maestro. The way that I always uh, describe this is he's kind of like the MC and I'm, I'm the DJ, you know. Uh. Yep. And so a lot of the character, mo- all the character work, I think there's only, I think almost all of it, right? It's, it's, it's all your character work. But then uh, where I shine is the layout portion, the graphic design yeah. portion. Yeah, without your touch, it's just it's nothing. It's just a character, <laughs> for real. Yeah. So we're dropping DLC tonight? We got DLC? Nah. <laughs> but we will have some giveaways. Imagine? Yeah. All right. So we're going to kick it off with the uh, the first one. So, Clev, you want to you wanna talk about how you, uh, this first piece that, yeah, yeah. this is um, from Asian up. Soul on the bottom. And uh, it's <laughs> our so favorite sick, sumo, man. right? <laughs> All right. So uh, as you can see, this is Honda. And uh, normally, normally I usually, you know, at the beginning, I usually start when I do a piece, I go under the buttons and stuff like that. But this one, I just, I just want Honda to take over because he's big body, like you know what I mean. So and then you know I went with the straight udon, our straight clean, and I just, you know, it was a joy. Was this the first Honda we got? Probably the first Honda I've drawn officially, officially like completed. Yeah. So I'm pretty proud of this one, man. And then I mean, as you can see, line work, solid coloring. Uh, uh, and then I, I just kicked it off to John. And I, think I kept my line stick on this one because I, you know, I know that John's background is graffiti, and I just wanted to feel like graffiti a little bit too. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Right. So yeah. <clears throat> B Rad said, "Oh, he large." <laughs> <laughs> um, I really right. like the highlights that you did on the uh, on the t- on you know his his loincloth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, okay. What is that called officially? Yeah, I don't, I don't know even know the, the sumo gi. I don't know, but um. I remember when I got this piece because, like, it, like, like Clev said, and, and also you could see—I don't know if you guys can see my mouse cursor, but right over here, he put some motion um, to the hands a little bit, you oh, know. Yeah, so there's right. a little bit of motion over here. So he's actually doing a hundred hand slap. Now, mind you, this was done before Honda came out. That's right. Yeah. Yes. So we had no clue. What's up, Sanitar? What's up, man? Uh, Fades in the house. Uh, MB Kerr's in the house. Sanitar, what's yep. up? What's up, everybody? Where would the stick be? Yeah, it's kind of like right on his chest, like right here, like where the mouth is. <laughs> right. <laughs> Actually, you, you, you'll, you'll get to see it a little bit later. But um, what I did, so we didn't know Honda was coming out. We didn't know Honda stage was coming out. Nothing. This was like pre Honda Street Fighter Five. But I think you know, not for nothing, it still it still translates pretty well. So you went with the classic Honda, and I had to embellish it with the classic. Um, you know stage so on the top i actually uh, illustrated that whole top background to me and i even did like the lines to make it look like a tile you know it's kind of like a, uh, a tile so pattern sick, right and then uh also on the bottom here this says um basically ed ed edomondo honda <laughs> right over here <laughs> and then you can see his uh i kind of made like a like a Mardi Gras mask with his eyes. How, how sick would this be if this was a real mask? You could just wear it as like glasses, right? Oh, yeah. And then uh, this is one of his quotes, I am the Ozeki. And then, you know, Japanese wave pattern right over here. But I think the the highlight that, Clev, you didn't talk about this, is the, the, the middle piece, especially where I'm waving with the mouse right now. You, can oh, you, I yeah. totally forgot about that, man. You're right. But, uh, yeah, the Dan, the Dan bowl, ramen bowl, right? Yeah, it's actually uh, <laughs> Chanko, Chanko soup. How you doing, Ralph? What's up, man? How you doing, Yo, brother? Oh, you can't zoom into that, right? Yeah, I can't, can't zoom, zoom into in. it. But in here, guys, it's Dan, and this is a bowl of uh, basically like a sumo's bowl right over here yeah. where, my, where my mouse is. And, you know, it's it's actually like a little, you know, it's just a little like, uh, what do you call that? Um, like, a, uh, like a little secret inside the, the artwork. Yeah, yeah. So... Easter egg, Easter egg, so Easter egg. Yo, we love, yo, we just yeah. love this shit, bro. Right. Like, yo, y'all don't understand. We love this, bro. Yeah. All right, you ready to move on? Yeah. All What's right, up, uh, Dukin? What's good? It's good to see you, homie. I know you got the little one. Yeah. Sleep. Okay, hip hop fans. Actually, I, I basically I took most of the lead on this one. 
<laughs> yeah, huh? I mean, this you saved this to be honest. Yeah, like you saved this piece. Like I didn't know where to go with the, the faces and all. I don't know where I get the Woo Girls from. I don't know where I actually got that from. Yeah, so honest. you you gave me no. I started this what one. What right? happened? That I started yes, this. Yes, that's right. I started I, this took one. The wheel on this one. Yeah, yeah, drop loads was like I want a graffiti piece um, that says Wu Tang, and that's like right up my alley. So I actually. Uh -huh. I, I did the hand style. I did the uh, mm -hmm. the lettering. You know, I actually did this shit when I was a kid. So to me, this wasn't this was like just you know doing what I did when I was a kid. Um, and uh, obviously, we used Procreate to to create this. So I did the Wu Tang yeah. piece. Hey, oh, Grand Toka Dai, oh. thank you, thanks for the follow. Um, hi, hi. Hey, right. Uh, so I went ahead and did the lettering, and basically the whole piece. It just says Wu Tang Clan 103 or four. You know, Staten Island. Um, I put like a little monk monastery in the back with, with some of the Shaolin monks like hanging off the piece and the killer bee on the top left, right? Of course, the saga continues. And then I pass it to Clev. He's just so sick. I'm and sorry. <laughs> now, yeah, and then you want to you tell the story with the girls again? Like, how did. Um, okay, so I don't know how I came up with the girls, but if you follow Wu Tang's Facebook, they usually post like their clothes or someone rocking a Wu Tang shirt. And I'm huh. like, yo, this is, this is urban. Like, this is urban. It's cool. Like, why don't I just have them spray it up man i don't know how i don't know how, i don't know if that came after or i just gave you an idea right just do graph and i follow up through and i was like man it would be sick just to have like you know these wool girls just tagging up the wall and they got someone's got sweaters tattoos and it just looks like a piece a photo of something that's happening outside you know what i mean true hip-hop like you know hip-hop and graffiti are one yeah so, yeah yeah so. so it's like a unified piece here man i i yeah, I forgot. We've done a lot of work. This I totally forgot about this. Dude, yeah, and yeah. it came out awesome. Like, yeah. the stick itself came out awesome. I, I want to yeah. add one thing about this. You actually mentioned, um, yo, like, I want to make it look like a street. With the with, and if you guys look at the top, oh, that's right, here, that's right, that's right. That's yeah. right. There's there's like this lighting effect. Um, it's actually in Photoshop. If you guys know how to mess with Photoshop, there's a lighting effect with like uh like spotlights. And the way that I position the lighting, it's basically like, can you imagine like they're almost working around maybe like sun, like the sun's going down a little bit or maybe the sun is already just went down, but they're still rocking because they have like street, street, like the street posts still like shining on it. So it, it kind of gave it that little, yeah, yeah. that little street vibe too. And of like, course like the I, buttons. Like, like I said, like yeah. I, I do the artwork, but Johnny, Johnny really, I know he, he says on the maestro, but the truth is. Johnny, Johnny puts it together and that's a lot more effort than you know what I mean it looks amazing bro yeah that, that light effect <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh man yo this li beats foundation thank you for the follow man appreciate that and of course we got oh. yeah yep hype 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 yeah hype, we got hype, hype, yo, and this is uh the, track, the buttons right these are drop loads favorite Wu-Tang guys it was RZA Jizza Dirty yeah, it, but I think that's from the last, right? Yeah, yeah. No, two of them are two. A couple of them was, and then like I think I what, what was that the uh, Inspector Deck. I think is Inspector new, right? Inspector Deck and right? uh, You God, right? You God, right? The two new ones. Yeah. yeah. So Raekwon, Met the Man, Ghostface, You God, dope. Yeah. yeah, man. Makes me think of a billboard they're tagging, right? Exactly, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I was going for, man. This, oh man, you guys should. Yo, check our uh, check John's uh, Instagram. I think you got the builds, right? Or one of our one yeah. Of our actually, um, we're gonna we're gonna show you guys at the end of uh, some of the guys that we submitted. Should have, we should have did like a video. I know build video, right? It was yeah. like <laughs> that would have been sick. All right, next one, next one. Black Crow, what's good? What's up? What's Black up, Crow, everybody? was good? What's good? All right, man. This, this oh. is yeah. You remember <laughs> this one? <laughs> yeah. Did he ever get to finish this though? Yeah, he did. He did. Okay. Oh yeah. So this um, is for our boy Mus, um, yeah. he, Mustafa. He's in the UK. So, um, shout out first of all, shout out to everyone that's not in the US because Yo, it's so hard for, for them to get this work done, like getting graphics yeah. um, printed from like because all the shops are in the US, so it's a kind of a pain in the yeah. ass. So shout out to Mustafa, and uh, he 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 just said, I want the, I want that Joker. He just wants the Joker, and he's hella cool too. Like yeah, yeah and, and over we get a lot of love from overseas. Yeah, man, it's awesome, man. It's awesome. Uh, so let me go in on this, right? Right. So with the Joker, you know, I, if, if you don't know this, the Joker is my number one villain. Like, he's my number one character. So when we got this request, I just flipped out. I'm like, all right, we got to go ham, right? Yep. And mind you, this is the beginning of Hitbox. Like, Hitbox, from here, I, I can basically tag it from here. Hitbox started to become very popular. 
Mm -hmm. This is like literally one of the first that started to roll in. So, you know, I just went all out. I went, you know, straight comic book style Joker, shading, this craziness. I gave it a little bit of blur effect, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, I really wanted John to really rip the background. Like, he noticed that the Joker's really dark and the background's really light. That's like, because I wanted John to really take this one because, you know, I, all I saw was ha ha ha, you know, Joker graffiti tags and all that. I'm like, this, this is definitely something I can set up so John could kill it in the background. And as you can see, it just looks amazing. Yeah, and then uh, I remember um, we, I, he didn't want any lab labels on the buttons like to tell you like mm -hmm. what square or triangle, but I wanted to still make the buttons interesting and like um, I, I took a play off the flower that you had put on his lapel. I was like, mm -hmm, I want to mm -hmm. make all of the buttons like that flower with like the acid dripping. This is so sick. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then of course oh. the crazy ass distress font. I think my favorite Boy. thing about this though is the um, the uh, his uh, his four finger ring. Oh, the the bat seat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I I forgot where I saw that. And, I think I seen like a comic book. Oh yeah. Harley Quinn had it as knuckle, and I'm like, oh, that's sick. Let me borrow that real quick. Yeah. You know what I mean? Also, <laughs> also, the, yeah. The batarang stuck in the bat. <laughs> that's yeah. like one of my favorite things, man. Yeah. B Rad said the flowers were a good touch. Nice, yeah, nice, yeah. nice. Awesome. What else we got from this? Um, let's see. Yeah, just a little Joker icon. Uh, I don't know if I pulled that off the internet somewhere, or I think I think I did. I think I found that little icon somewhere. So I had I threw that in as part of like a little logo on the bottom for the quote. But that's about it. This is this came out really good, man. And I think I that like you know I, our purpose when we do this 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 stuff, guys, is if, like if if um you know you showed up at a tournament and you sat down with your stick with our artwork, we want that to be like you know almost as intimidating as you about to bust their ass you know what i mean <laughs> bro, like bro, if i man. sat down next to you and you had this joker stick i'd be like fuck this guy's fucking no joke <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> you know that's 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 part of the uh the, the, you know the thing that at least i try to do when i make a composition like i want people to be like damn okay i gotta play this guy <laughs> You know, just based on a stick, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Blast, do you peep that out? Yeah, I just, I tell you, man, I, it's a little details, man. I tell you, right. we love this shit. Like, this, we enjoy right. this shit. <laughs> <laughs> we want to get the mind uh, games going. All right, moving on, right. guys. We got a lot to go. Okay, who remember this one? Okay. So, this was, um. Hey, yep, this was, uh, hey, Maru for, uh, Hamaru. Buttercade. Right now, this did the game come out? Oh, the game was almost more, out. No, not this one. But okay, no, continue. Sorry. No, the, yeah, the game, game wasn't was out about yet. Right? To come out. No, about to not, come out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think you started this one, right? So. Um, I mean, when uh, let's just say shout outs to Butterworld, the God, the God, the, uh, the 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 South Mod God. You know what I mean? Yep. Uh, but when he, he Butterworld knows, like he knows what we love, and we love Samurai Showdown, so he picks the you know the characters. So when he put this on our lap, we was like, man, we got to kill this. Now, I've already had the vision. Well, I went through a couple couple visions, but, like, what's more epic than his heavy slash, right? Right, right. That slash takes, like, 40% of your life, bro. Like, so I had to get that in. Uh, with this style, I wanted to really, you know, flex my shading ability with the muscles and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I really wanted to do more airbrush work, a little bit of paintery stuff on the blade. Even the and line work is a little, like, brushy. You know? Yeah, it's the yeah. line work is made to look like, you know, Jap like the ink work from Japan, you know, like stuff like that. Very, very loose, not you know, and just like heavy motion, like, you know what I mean? Just like a slash. And then from there, I you know, I just... Hand it off to the mice, you know, the main the main dude, Johnny. Yeah. He took it over from there. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret. A lot of the assets that you guys see on the screen were actually pulled from the Samurai Showdown website. I actually went inside the source code and took PNGs and everything like that. Literally <sighs> went into the source. <laughs> what? Like if, yeah, I swear to God. If you guys see this pattern here, you see this like Yo. star pattern? I literally jacked that from the the, the source code of the website. Cause they already That's had the site sweet. going, like the star pattern and the clouds. Yeah, I'm a hacker, hacker bro. Man. Hacker yeah. man, John, get him, bro. <laughs> right, just just called me a hacker. What's up, Mighty Jr? How you doing, man? And then good. uh what else? Um, Samurai Showdown logo, pretty straightforward. Um, I added the uh, little Shinto shrine here, little you samurai went touches. This piece, though. You went these clouds. Yeah, the, the clouds. Effects, I the sort of thing. You went ham, bro. Um, so you, I remember. Holy uh, shit! Wait a minute. I'm just peeping this mask. Yeah, the, the mask, mask, mask and the sword. Yeah, I did the uh, the kanji. 
the, the, that's the Hawamaru uh, uh, kanji. That's his name inside the uh, inside the sword. So yeah, like we yeah we went a little extra on this one. This was special because this was like our first samurai showdown piece. Mm hmm. We had to you know we had to go ham and before the homie Buttero. Like I think Buttero's officially our first client. Yeah. I think he's officially our first client. So when any anything he asks for, we go ham. All right. <clears throat> All right, there's a lot more Sam show, so we're gonna move on. Yeah. Ooh, Let's see what we got. Yo, I, I, it's crazy how time fly. Oh my God, I forgot about this one. You forgot? And this one came out amazing, right? Cause he he had the green buttons, no? Yeah. Yes. So if you guys don't know what this is, this is a Gundam, um, Sinanju. If you're a Gundam uh, builder or like a fan of Gundam, you, you would know this uh, particular uh, mobile suit. Yeah. But yeah, my man just wanted his favorite mobile suit, right? Yeah, uh, this uh, I forgot the name of it, but uh, S S Sinanju, this is our Sinanju. this is our second Gundam. Is it? He yeah, yeah. The, I, what I did was I I took a clip of the movie. There's a scene that looks just like that of this movie. Uh -huh. that he's busting off the sniper, and I'm like, that angle is godlike. Uh -huh. So I froze that on YouTube. I froze that scene and I sketched it out. And I sketched it out, and I got it as close as possible but I, I pimped it out made things brighter as you can see the gun is brighter things are like you know really coming out there really popping again with the heavy lines again with the shading because i just feel like with the shading when it comes to like machinery you can put these little sketches if you look close you see the little little white you know marks and dirt marks and stuff like that i wanted it to look like it was aged and in combat mm -hmm. and i just went ham it was a lot of fun i had the little number codes a lot of Gundam, it's hard for me to draw machinery because I don't know what's underneath the arm. Like, half of this is made up. I made up these little gadgets right there. I don't know what's underneath there. I don't have a model or anything. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Gundams are hard, but I had, had it. Just, I forgot about this. This was amazing, bro. Gotcha. And then, go ahead, John. Take it over there. Yeah, I mean, no, I just I just went, like, super nerdy with this. I think um, a lot, it's a lot of things that you don't really see, but it's there. Like, if you guys look at the lines on the top here like right over here the lines in the back that's actually his gun right like uh i you know it's, it's some of the line work from so his gun sick. right um even down on the bottom here i did the logo that that's the logo that you see on his uh i think on the front right you see this yeah, like yeah. right on the front mm -hmm. that, that's the main logo his, yeah his... and this is the this is the client's name 111 right if you guys are wondering what that yeah, is yeah. right and this is the this is like the number of the mobile suit you know i just found a really cool techie font that um looked really good and then you know, here's the, uh, this is the Gundam logo in there. Space background. Just kept it real, real, you know, in theme. The buttons, so, like, the, the made planet. it, like... Look at that yeah. shit, man. I, come on. I, I made it, like, really mechanical, the buttons. You know, it's, it's kind of like things in motion. I don't know if he ended up, like, f putting re uh, solid buttons or clear buttons, but I don't know. We never got the final version of this, uh, you know. He I, did I, I, I don't think so. He posted it, yeah. Did he? Oh, maybe I he did. He had, I think he went with the green, with the green, that green. Oh, right green buttons. Oh, he did yeah, post it. Came it came out amazing. You bro. know what? He great. did post it because I remember him linking us to the the Gundam Reddit, and yeah. he, he it was like a it was on the Gundam Reddit, not even a fight oh, stick word? or fighting game thing. It was posted on a Gundam Reddit, and he sent us a link. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I right. Ask you how you think your style changed, Jr. Uh, man, yeah, I think it does. I think it did over time. But this is year two, though. Yeah, this so, is year two. We got a lot better. Yeah, we got. I say we got a lot better. I mean, we already had vibe anyway. We just got a lot of better in terms of art design and like just messing with the sticks, man. The button. Yep. What's the All next right. one? Let's see. Dude, this is fun, bro. I, you know, I never get a chance to sit back and look at what I've done. I'm always my head down. I'm always drawing on the neck. Oh, uh -oh. wait, wait, hold on, hold on, Let's hold go. on, guys. I messed up. There oh, we go. No. <laughs> These are two bangers, man. I'm sorry, I messed These up. These are two bangers. I'm sorry. Hold on. Uh, I'm, I'm loading this off a website, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, come on. Get off. Everyone, get off the internet. No, sir. I don't know why I can't go back. Oh, no. Okay, there it goes. Oh, oh Hold no, on, guys. Skipping. It's, it's thinking. It's thinking. Okay, stop hitting buttons. Okay, there you go. Right, we good? No, hang on. I don't know what's happening. It's right now, Terry. It's oh, supposed to be Terry, right? Switch. Okay, we're on Terry. Just hit it one time. Okay. Boom, and then leave it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We keep hitting play, though. Yeah, it, it's just super whack the way that the web <laughs> thing is. <laughs> Juke. <laughs> I know. Juke. Sorry, Juke. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. <laughs> we could draw really good, but we don't know how to handle a, 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 a slideshow. This is our weak spot. You know yeah. what I mean? Overhead. We can't block this. We can't block this. 
Okay, here we go. I think we're good now. All right, so this okay. is Ralph's, right? This is how you duking? Yeah, this is how you duking. Yeah, God. so. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, you kick it off. I, I remember. Uh, you know, if you don't know, Dukin is the number one SNK fan. Yeah. And he, he loves this character. He loves Fatal, uh, Fatal Fury 2. This piece, I just wanted to get that, you know, that, what's it called? Are you okay? <laughs> the power geyser? This is a power, power geyser. geyser. Yeah, yeah. Are you okay? I just wanted that. I actually seen this. I try to replicate a model, like a statue model. Uh huh. And I try to get that angle where I just wanted just rip in half the whole the whole thing. Just are you okay? And then I just I just <laughs> went ham. That's it. I mean, there is really I went in with solid inks. I went in with also shading, but I also if you see his hand, I, I shaded the ink, uh the ink the line work i'm this is when i'm starting to play with different things you know what i mean it was just really fun and this stick layout it's awesome because there's a lot of room on the left yeah there's a, a little top part sucks but yeah, that thing sucks that's a wrap in right it sucks but that top right button is awesome that that little i want one of these because of that top right button but yeah so it's very i mean you can just see i just went ham ink Regular airbrush shading, a little bit of coloring on the line work, fire, and I think I use a couple wild crazy brushes and, yeah. uh, and some blur effects on the rocks. See on the if you uh yeah, you I see, see the, rocks, the, 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 the motion rocks, over here blur on the rocks. Yeah, yep. motion blur. Yeah. So I just wanted, you know, to get them get them this bust out love, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Jeff. And then uh let's see, I let's start with the background. So <laughs> I, I added I you know, one of Terry's stages is actually at the uh What's this called? The freaking the monument with all the presidents. I forgot what it's called. Anyway, yeah. So we we uh I found that I, I vectorized like a, a couple images of, of um you know that monument. Yeah, Mount Rushmore. Yeah. There you go. Sifu got it. Mount Thanks, Rushmore. Sifu. Sifu, right? the guy with yep. the assist. Right. Okay. So we did uh <laughs> Mount Rushmore background, kind of like you know dusk, right? Because the fucking fire, of course, man. It's like the sky's gonna be goddamn on fire. And then, you know, oh, we had man. to go with that Buster Wolf, and uh, I, I found this awesome, like, wolf freaking graphic. I was like, I, I got to take that and incorporate it. Just it makes sense, bro. I'm yeah. telling you, bro, you come clutch every time. It's like the it's tribal, sick. you know, that yeah. tribal raw energy. And then I did mm -hmm. a fake KOF logo with, uh, with, with Terry shit that says, you know, Power Geyser, you know. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I, I can't do the Terry voice, but if you want to read the quote. <laughs> <laughs> Power Geyser. No, nah, it says, uh, do you think you can beat uh, me you, that part? Yeah. Do you think you can beat me? Go home. Yeah, Yo, but yeah. everyone in the chat, are you okay? Are you <laughs> okay? <laughs> the best thing, man. <laughs> Yo, I many times I said that shit while drawing this, man. Come on. <laughs> that was funny. All right, let me uh, not mess this up. I'm going to try to advance to the next one. All right. And all right, we did it. All right. This one is probably one of my, this is definitely top five. Oof. Yeah. Oof, oof, oof. Um, this is our first Soul Calibur, right? Yeah, yeah. This is our first Soul Calibur, and obviously one of the coolest characters from Soul Calibur. This piece, um, I went with solid ink. Oh no, I went with like a kind of like a little bit of a, a sketchy brushwork. You know what I mean? And then I went with solid, solid shading, and then some, some like airbrush shading with the sword. And if you look at the sword, there's a little bit of a Buddha there, a little bit of my spiritual background. I just dabbed into it right in the sword. Mm. Um, I didn't. I, I don't know if I did the background. Did I do the background? Uh, the tiger. I might have just like threw that up real quick, maybe. You did. I don't know why I you did put the uh like the the color gradient down. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Right, and then the tiger, right? Yeah, yeah, and uh, this yeah. is his uh, new outfit from Soul Calibur Six, right? So yeah. All right, so I just I went nuts game. with this. So first of all, um, we found out kind of early in the process that he was going to be doing like a wood, his own custom. So this was like a custom Man. fight stick. Like he made it himself. It's not like, you know, he bought a stick and then modded it. Like this, this is a custom wood fight stick. So I wanted to make it like, you know, match those tones. Those like, you know, wood, wood, wood tones and almost like an etching. So that's why you see a lot of this like dragons in the back that were like you know really sharp vectors um that it kind of looks like a like an etch and also inside the buttons a samurai inside the button i don't know if you guys can see this but like in there so sick. right uh you know even though most of it got covered up it doesn't really matter it's just that texture in there that like kind of makes everything you know come together and then you know i just went with like a pretty basic quote you know you, you'll you'll be the stain on my blade i think he says that as a one of the win quotes you know that's that's kind of like my formula. I try to find one of the like a cool win quote from a character, and uh, stylize it, make a little logo out of it, and um, you see it on the bottom there. So 
so sick, man. Yeah. Also, Check we did we did a little thing. border too. Yeah. Uh, um, Duke and yeah, he did custom made wood buttons. He actually did them before anybody else I know. Oh, that's them. right. You're right. He was yeah. trying to make them himself, and he did a pretty good job. Yeah, he, he did, did a he pretty did, good job. He definitely did custom wood buttons. I remember that. That was insane. Oh man, I don't know if I, I forgot if I put the picture of this full build at the end, but uh, if it's there, we'll show you guys later. It, I know I have it somewhere. Okay. I know he sent me it. He he tried his hard. He tried his best. The, those buttons was a pain in the ass. He had to cut them out. Right. <laughs> Yeah, def this is definitely one of my top five pieces, man. I think I as a composition, it. I think is one of my favorites. All right, moving on. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Ooh, damn. We got here. Ooh. Oh. God, <laughs> yo, I, I listen. My head is always down. I'm drawing the next commission. I forget to look back or even take a break. Jeez, again, this Butterroll the God. Butterroll. Butterroll the God asks for another samurai, uh, another samurai showdown. By the way, this is his personal one, right? The, yeah, this is his personal. Was it the, the yeah. uh, all fight stick? Yeah, right? yeah. The, he uses the uh, AFS stick. sticks. Yeah. So what's his name again? What's this guy's earthquake, name? Earthquake. 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 So he asks for earthquake, and I'm like, I'm, I'm like, holy shit! As soon as he, as soon as he group chat us and say, "Y'all want earthquake." In my mind, for some reason, I saw the uh, um, Violator. I saw Violator's face from Spawn. Spawn, and right? I yeah. Saw hella detail. So I just went in straight comic book style on this. There is, I have nothing else to say, but I just went comic book. I went straight up mad detail with the ink, uh, as, as much as I can, and just airbrush work over. And then th that's pretty much it. I just wanted gory too. I wanted, the, I wanted the, him look disturbing. Like, I want, again, like John said before, when you see this fight stick. You know there's some problems you about to... You know, yeah, like, you imagine I mean? this guy sitting right down next to you, and you look down, you're like, oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you know? like <laughs> it's, it's like your flag or some type of armor. Like, I don't know. You see that shit? You know no games. There is no games. Facts. So, yeah, go ahead. Take it take it from the back. Oh, uh, man, no, like this one, um, honestly, I just recycled <laughs> some of the shit from the Halamaru. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it came out so dope. Like, right. everything feels... Again, like I said, my artwork is shit without John. John. Somehow, John amplifies it. And I'm like, sometimes I draw something and I give it to John. I'm like, yo, I don't know, man. Like, the Wu-Tang piece. I'm like, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm overthinking this. John takes it two, three days. Like, here it is. I'm like, fuck, you saved us. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yo, so, yeah, the, the one thing group, I remember oh on this, so, you know, his name is Earthquake. So, a lot of the things that you see on the screen are like, you know, things are like broken cracks. Like, there's a crack in the fight stick right here. If you guys see this, where my mouse is. <laughs> Right, and then Sifu, Sifu, shh, shh. You could see Johnny hack the site again. Yeah, definitely <laughs> hack the site. <laughs> and then, oh, uh, look, he, I don't know if you guys know this, but Earthquake is a, is an American, right? And, yeah, yeah. And he's from Texas, so that's why you get this little Texas background over here. Yeah. Right, you get the Texas so background, sick. and you got the little Texas logos here, and it's a nice little touch. So. Yeah, this is great. Hacker man. Boy, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So <laughs> same theme. Man? Like I think we just got to get through all the Sam show, right? Oh man. <laughs> so this one, this <laughs> one was uh, Shiki. This is a story. Go ahead, John. Tell me the story. Right. Of this. So you guys oh. may have seen this already, right? This was a giveaway from Focus Attack. Um, so Clev did the Shiki. You know, mm -hmm. real slick. You know, I, I like how this one wasn't as. It's almost just like a raw. You know, uh, you, you didn't really get too detailed, but it was just like, yeah, it was, it, well, it, yeah. With the with the female characters, you, you kind of got to smooth it out, you know what I mean? And uh, I just wanted flow, cause you see the two blades, uh, you know, I just wanted her to flow, like you know, Samurai Showdown essentially is about you know this flow, the blade and stuff like that. So, and you know, it's you gotta make her as beautiful as you can, you know what I mean? So, yep. real simple, very, very simple. <clears throat> yep. And uh, yeah, Righteous is right again. I did the uh, the Hacker Man thing. Nah. So a lot of, because remember, all this stuff was for, for, for Buttercade. So we wanted to keep the, the same themes. Um, you know, Shiki, she's associated with like a snake character. That's why you kind of see that like Cobra on, on the right side. And uh, that's, that's about it. But the story about this stick was that this was a giveaway <laughs> for um, Focus Attack, Buttercade, ourselves. Right? Yeah. And. Um, this guy won it from Focus Attack, right? And it caused a little bit of a problem. <laughs> so much shit going right? on. And because immediately he 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 won the stick, he got it shipped to him, then he put it up for sale. Like immediately. And it like caused this massive outrage. 
Yo, he can't go anywhere. Look, I don't. We we at this point we're starting to find our. We got like our own style. Not not even the issue said. Yeah, I saw this on eBay. (laughs) Exactly, exactly. So you kind of you kind of already know that we worked on this. You can tell, but you can start getting the picture of how we work. You know, John got got his own style with the buttons. You know, I got my art in the style, but John really has the style with the buttons. You know that John has worked on this. So that means that we worked on it most likely. Right. So this guy couldn't go anywhere with this. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, come on, man. You're the guy. You're, you're the guy. Actually, whoever uh, whoever bought yes. it, I feel bad for that guy. Yeah. It, this one has the USB sword. I think that's the first yeah. butter roll was kind of Oh, that's that. right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in- including yeah. the full build features. Um, First of all, the build is amazing from Buttercade, right? Let's yeah, not even I- go there. Um, but the the USB cable had a samurai sword that plugged into the it's you know it looks like a sword when it's plugged in it's insane like you're stabbing the stick it's insane yeah <laughs> I'm pretty sure the guy took the artwork yeah, out to so sell it like whoever, pretty- whoever has this stick out there I'm sorry you had to deal with all the drama I'm glad you have oh. it now and you probably love it that's really cool yeah. and it finally got to a happy home but the yeah. guy who sold it man I was just like damn that's cold <laughs> <laughs> that righteous said man. this dude would have caught the hand from me <laughs> oh man. Right. Oh, anyway, man. all right. Moving on. Uh, we let's got see. Next. Oh my God. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Oh we. You know what I mean? Yeah, we supposed to West Coast music guy right I now. Know, uh, I, know. I don't. We don't even know this guy. I don't think. Nah, I'm a, I'm a big Nipsey fan. I'm a big. Yeah, Nipsey but we fan. don't know the guy who ordered this. He. We don't know where he was from. He, did he just hit us up real quick? Yeah, his name is like, uh, Tim Shady, the real Tim nah. Shady. Yeah, all the, well, other, he want- all the other Tim Shadies are just imitating, just saying. <laughs> right. Well, he just wanted the, um, well, as you can see, he wanted a, Nip- a Nipsey Hustle piece. Yep. Kind of like something he had saw for Tupac, but he wanted for Nipsey and, you know, Blue, you know, Crip shit. Yeah, Crip so, shit. So, I, I, here I wanted to experiment with, like, you know, just my, just all the brushes and just get real loose. Mm-hmm. This, you know, chop up what I need to define so you can tell it's Nipsey. You know, the eyes, you'll see like cuts there and there. But a lot of it's squares. It's just shit pulled together, removed. I had no idea how this was going to end. And I don't know what happened. I don't know. Must have had a dream or saw something. But I, I just saw like the angel. Right here, right? I put the angel on the forehead. You know, it just, I don't know how that came to be. It's just something that shit happens to artists. Like, you know, you see something and be like, oh, that could that could go dope. So I ha- I put that on there and I just messed with the layers and it just finally blended in. I'm like, that makes perfect. From afar, you just think it's light bouncing off his forehead. Mm-hmm. But when you move in, you see the angel. I'm like, yo, that's it. I got that's it. it. Yeah. And, and the, I, love, I, just, I love, I love <laughs> the, uh, you know, the, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I, I mean, I just love the, the way that you use some of these brushes for the shading. Mm-hmm you know yeah i just wanted to be different like i I didn't i wanted sometimes like i want to create art that lasts even when i become better right like this is a style like it's never gonna i'm never gonna look at this and say oh man i improved Mm -hmm. because this is just a style that's just the way it is you know what i mean so it was very fun man go ahead yeah yeah so um if you guys see the background it says nipsey in the back that's actually a photo uh, i rendered down of one of the, when he passed away, yo. First of all, rest in peace, Nipsey Hustle, man. You're a king. Yep, yep. Marathon definitely continues. You know, uh, one of my favorite joints from his dedication. That's my joint, man. Oh my god, I love that song. Anyway, so when he had passed away, there's some photographs that uh, of people like that was a sign that someone had, was holding up. You know, and then uh, I I, I kind of just took that that little scene in the background, and that's that was shot on the corner of uh, of you know of where his store was, the Marathon store. Um, and that's that's in there and then you know you guys know about the Crenshaw brand you know not only is it a, a, a neighborhood but he made it a brand so that store sold that Crenshaw merchandise that you guys see the logo on there so um, you know I, I, I had to definitely take that and I, I don't know if you guys know this but it's see how it's like purposefully like not clean that's how the logo is uh, I, I, I didn't clean it up or nothing I just kind of left it the way it the way it was um, and I, I made this little marathon continues little logo here on the bottom you know um you know that's that's basically one of his themes as, as you guys know his the album his only album that dropped i know he has tons of mixtapes but the album that was dropped is called the marathon and you know um when he had passed every, that was kind of like the statement that the marathon continues and this was his team right over here you know inside the um inside the jump button and uh you know obviously you know he was affiliated not like this is like a really uh, big topic about Nipsey, but he was affiliated with the Crips, you know, um, Rolling 60s Crips, I believe. 
So, you know, I had to represent a little bit with the blue rag, but you know, that really is, that's just, that's just like the, the graphical element on there, you know? So, um, I would still be this shook if I was sitting next to someone with this stick though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anything disrespectful. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Even if you got the win, you best hand shake, yeah, shake yeah. his hand. Yeah. But I love this piece. Like it just, this is definitely one of my favorites. I totally forgot about this. You forgot this about this one, too? One of my, I forgot about a lot. Like I said, like I got my head down, and I'm drawing on the next one. I forget to look back, and this is great. Like yeah. We did good. I All think right. we did great. Bet. No, our work is dope. Don't lie. Hey, who's that? Yo, who it is? Ryan. Who, inf who infiltrated? <laughs> Ryan? What's Ryan, up, Ryan, what's good? What's good? Uh, what's up, Ryan? Okay, so this one is uh, Plus Ultra. Oh, man. This is a lot of fun, too. All Might. All my, you know, I just wanted to, I, I went again, heavy, bold lines. There's some texture in the suit. If you could, if you could see it, there's a lot of texture in the suit, uh -huh. heavy, bold lines. All Might has always, when he comes out, like in the manga, comic book, mm -hmm. uh, in anime, he's always got that, sh that dark black, like the ink on one side. It's like, oh, I'm All Might, you know what I mean? Super char charismatic. And I just wanted energy. You see, like, he's like grabbing the air, this, you know what I mean? Yeah. With his hand. And then, then I just pass it over to the, you know, John to do yeah, his work. You, but, uh, actually, you, you told me what to do on this one. I was a little like, um, like, hey, what do I, what do I do? I put some. Oh of the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I put some of the cast yeah. in the background and like a little silhouette of him with the logo with the Go Beyond. That, that, that's his, that's his line, right? Go Beyond plus Ultra. Mhm. Mm yeah, yep, yeah. Yep. And you know, obviously the big, the big kanji on the right. And then the one thing that you told me, like, you, you got to put anime lines on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I was the, like, all the, right. <laughs> so the action lines, I the love action it. Lines, I yeah, love the anime it, yeah. action lines. Um, I think you did the backgrounds, so, but that's it. Came out awesome. So this was also oh, for Mustafa, who who um who uh, commissioned the Joker piece that you guys saw earlier, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So another hitbox. So again, respect to him. He's been an awesome client, man. And uh, yeah, always, he's overseas. Yep, overseas, <clears throat> showing some love. So oh, good might. stuff. All right, great on. anime, by the way. You know all I mean? of, <laughs> we got Mighty Jr. with with <laughs> all of my doll. Oh, oh my the strongest. Yeah. In the world. Nice. What we got? What we got? Oh my God! This is this is one of the first creative ones that we've kind of like a mashup, right? Oh, I never saw this. Oh one. yeah, right. This this. I missed this. Oh, one. I this was this a lot of fun. This Ryan, this was, it, it was a different request, but a lot of fun. Uh huh. Um. Well, okay, so okay, he originally wanted some something based off what is the what is that video uh, Clockwork game? Clockwork Orange. On. No, 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 the video game. Oh, Persona, uh, Persona, baby. Yeah, he really yeah, he Persona. he originally wanted a theme like Persona, but the colors are changed, and obviously the Joker, I believe that's his name with the mask from Persona, yeah. is replaced by um this guy from Clockwork Orange. Yeah, Alex. And yeah. I, I I just went I went with a different style in terms of like shading, as you can see, you can see the grays have spiked to it, like kind of like a comic book little bit in colors but thin lines on this one and i used the reference uh he this is from a picture i pulled i sketched it out he's got some crazy eyeballs on his sleeves what <laughs> i totally did not know that so i drew them on there yeah. and uh i had a real i had a lot of fun but i wanted to stay true to the um you know to the layout that he wanted so you know i made him long enough so one side is orange and the other side would be a different color as you can see he takes it all the way up and then of course you know john does his damn magic bro yeah so <laughs> i actually oh, everyone's saying this in the chat that i never knew i needed to see this cross up <laughs> <I'm blasting. laughs> Blaster, yeah, yeah. yeah it's crazy <laughs> and this is why we're here though yeah. right john tell him yep. this is why you should use us for, for right. shit like this yeah, really. it's like, like, all right like <laughs> we actually kind of get mad when you're like yo i need a ryu or like something like something real basic you know yeah. like yeah i want ryu We're like really bro like you're gonna commission us that could draw you anything you want and you just want <laughs> ryu like come on man <laughs> anyway i'm just playing if you want if you want a ryu we'll do a ryu but i'm saying like you gotta give us a little bit of creative license to, to freak it a little bit but yeah, yeah we went straight persona style you know um the rip and the, the thing i had e i'm like yo e go back and draw this this this, this eyes in there i need that mm -hmm. so he went he went back and drew that for me i actually redid even though this looks like a like a graphic from persona i actually did everything from scratch all the stars i actually drew the stars and colored them and patterned them and did the gradient it, this was a lot. I did the buttons from scratch, like, you know, to, to make it match the persona look. Uh, you know, it was, it was a lot of work. So, this was a lot of fun. So, first of all, Clockwork Orange is a goddamn masterpiece of a movie. And this oh, yeah. game is also a goddamn masterpiece. So, 
you know i'm glad someone thinks this way and like was like i want to mix my two loves like the two <laughs> things that i love and make something beautiful out of it and uh just peep out all the graphics man yeah. john kills it bro look at the, the logo in the back the clockwork orange logo. and this guy is super violent right yeah the whole movie is yeah he's like super violent violence <laughs> Ultra violence. Yeah, yeah, Ultra yeah, violence. It's a bit. Awesome, awesome. All right, moving on. Ooh, okay. This one is for our boy Hairbun Warrior. Oh, Shout out to the my guy, guy. Hairbun, Hairbun Warrior. Bro. Um, actually, let's see. I this started off with a different cabinet. It was mm -hmm, you did it mm -hmm. like you drew like a. Yeah, my shit was trash. Yeah, you, tell, you tell, like tell a, the truth. Tell no, the no, truth. it's okay. No, you drew an Astro City cab, which is like normal you know yeah, yeah. but um knowing that he was gonna put this on this vlx um panel um he wanted to make it look like the street fighter 5 arcade cabinet and that's why you see this this styling of that vlx the vlx lines with the gradient that's um you know it's styled after the street fighter 5 cabinet which i, I actually for once i drew something first of all <laughs> I, I i drew this cabinet you, you, know, you I, saved it bro I, look i'm not gonna front I, I traced the shit out of it but um but uh, i did i did you know recreate it you know from you know what you know with uh with uh with procreate but um he went and, and did the chun like with the perfect like you know i mean i love it I love, i'm a chun lee guy you already know but yeah well yeah. the chun you know hair bun hair bun warrior is the Chung Lee warrior you know what yeah, i mean he, so he's a chun he, fanatic right he's a chun fanatic and i love that he picks different colors you don't stay with the same chunk so he picked this color and i'm like wow that's great i get to color it i went just as you can see i just went super cutesy anime and just made those thighs thick you already know uh, yeah airbrush work a uh, light a uh, thin ink airbrush work i put some shading on the cab that john saved my cab was trash john drew this and look how perfect it is. This is the cab is amazing like that alone could have been just the cover yo and guys i, I just actually have one of those cabs on the way it? by That's the it. way <laughs> is, so he a, sick, bro. is he a righty for this this fight stick because this is actually kind of dope is there what uh, say it again ron is he is he, is he, is he one of those inverted no. people who play with fight sticks because this is actually awesome no no oh, no, no that, that's just the button <laughs> yeah the option that's a start button on on the uh vlx the yeah. options oh, okay button. I was yeah, about yeah, to yeah. say, hey, if he could, if he could beat you up on player two side, like a player one, uh -huh. it's over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. Facts, facts. Um, uh, the other thing too, um, a little bit of personal touch, the Chun Li yellow. If you guys find this, if you just look up like Super Turbo Chun Li, you'll notice that that um, it's a, it's you'll probably find this graphic. I had to color that Chun Li inside the video game to match the color costume that Yo, he wanted. Yo, you did? Yeah. Yo, I, I did not I know that. that. Yeah, I, I had to, that was a blue chun or something. And I, I had to color it because he said, I really want the yellow chun Lee. That's the costume that he picks. Can you believe that? As small as little details, but like, yeah. Bro, that's like Zoom 500 right there. Yup. And then, yo, Clev, you did this uh, Hairbun Warrior um, logo too for him, right? Which will Oh yeah, he had, uh, he had an X for that, but that was for like something else he was doing. But uh, I just gave that to you, did I? Or Hairbun gave that to you? I'm not sure, but yeah, I did that for him. Yeah, that yeah. had nothing to do with the stick, though. We just used it, right? You just used it. Right, right. Okay. Super uh, sick. Moving on. Ooh, okay. This is for our boy uh, Titus. We actually met Titus at East Coast Throwdown. It was really cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was funny how we came to meet him, or Ant did. Ant yeah. met him first. We yeah, Ant saw the stick, right? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, he, this one I wanted to do, again, like, very sketchy, very graffiti-like. Like, you know, like, uh, Third Strike's opening cinematic. Yes. Like, you know what I mean? It's line work that's very etchy and sketchy. And I went with the, uh, um, went with the regular basic shading with the airbrush and overlays and, you know, a little bit of uh, brush strokes here. Very sloppy on purpose because I wanted it to look like, you know, just, like, rugged. Like, it's not something that's rough. You know, Alex mm -hmm. and Ryu, these are two rough characters. There's nothing, like, perfect about them. You know, they get their ass kicked, and they get those hands yeah. out, too. Like, you know what I mean? I mean, yo, this so, to me is just, like, <clears throat> select to take your first pick. Word, 10, word, 9, word. 8, 7, take 6. 7, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's yeah. exactly, like, <laughs> yeah. Like yo, shout out to Eli Joe. Like, I Max just said yeah. it. Yo, get well soon. Eli Joe, we love yeah, you. Definitely. Shout out yeah, to Eli Joe, We just did something man. for them, but I can't say what we did yet, but yep. you'll see it. Yep. You'll see it. But yeah, this is straight like, you know, third strike. Uh, I went with the with that New York subway stage in the third strike. That's where you see a lot of graffiti. There's some hidden shit in here. If you guys look within the bottom, there's extra line work that Clev did that I kind of melted into the to, to the graffiti. I don't know if you guys can see Alex right over here. Alex and the Ryu right there. Yep. You mm -hmm. see it. Ryan mm -hmm. sees it. There you go, right there. 
they were in a different cool. angle. Like what a lot of people don't know, like I, I you guys, John, like I sketch out let me three times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just and like I, mad you know versions what? of shit. Yeah, and I say <laughs> keep all that shit. I, I tell yeah. them just just save it in the file, and yeah, yeah. if I can use it, I'll find a way to use it. You know, like I'll find a way to to to, to get it in there. You know, especially if it works. So. Damn, John, what makes John, this you really work? killed this shit. You know so what makes sick. this like really dope from somebody? It look like y'all took New York to Street Fighter. Yeah, but, but you know, not for nothing. We're from New York. Like we're from the New York City area, so it's oh, like. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Yeah. But it's like y'all also put Street Fighter Four with a twist to it. So it's like Third Strike met Street Fighter with art, like and some graffiti artwork. Like this shit is fucking dope. Word. Good look. Thanks, Good look. Ryan. Appreciate Thank it. Yeah. Ryan with the side commentary. Yeah, let's, yeah. Go. Yeah. let's go. Let's Ryan. go. <laughs> Yo, shout out to DKZ Ryan who just joined the uh, the voice chat. Yeah, also, Ryan, guys, uh, hop in our us? Discord, guys. Hop minute, in our Discord. Right? It's been over a year now. Yeah. Yeah, you've been one of the yep. one of the long time. I think I came members. mid. I think I came in like mid in one, year, and I've just been here since. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate Thanks, the support, Ryan, brother. Yeah, we man. seriously yeah, yeah. appreciate I'm it, man. To, I gotta, I gotta get some artwork to y'all. I just haven't decided what I want to do. Okay. You already know. Right, you already man. know. We're ready. Yo, look, shout look out my Jr. Though. with the sub. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. One thing I, I haven't oh, seen wow. one piece of artwork for, but I gotta set that off stream because it's gonna be somebody who's gonna be like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, wait, wait. We this got, was what? This is for Yo, me. <laughs> this is for, for you know, John. John, a lot, there's only few people that get the art pass. You from me, like you know, what I mean? many times people draw me this, draw me that on the side. You know, John get the pass, like whatever he want. <laughs> I'm gonna draw it for him. John's like, "Yo, draw slim real quick." I'm like, "All right." Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. I take me a lunch break. I drew it really wild and crazy, and arms everywhere, and colored it with some. I just wanted this fire and crazy motions. I'm like, boom! I shipped it off to him, and then, you know, John got his thing. Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> I forgot where I got the background from, but this is one. This one um, guy made a ton of prints with just like these really cool like um, pastel -y backgrounds of Street Fighter. I forgot the name, so respect to that guy. Remember, this is for me, so I wasn't really trying to like impress nobody. <laughs> this, this is something that I wanted. But the one thing that you know, I, I I put a lot of the Indian influences in there inside the buttons. Also, if you guys look at the labels of the buttons, it looks like a Sanskrit, right? Yeah. Yeah. So like, look at the look at the labels of the buttons. It looks mm -hmm. like a Sanskrit font, but it's actually square, triangle, R1, L1, X. You know, like you guys see it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, that, but it actually because you add the yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh man, yo! And this was this build. You guys don't know this build finish looks amazing. John yeah. put this together so well. Did you get sides for this? Yes, I did from Buttercade. Yeah, yeah. So sick, man. Yeah, this, this is definitely. I'm I'm glad to. Uh, and by the way, a lot of people think I'm a Chun Li. Like, people think I'm a Chun Li main, but if you guys play me a four and Super Turbo. He's this is my man. Fighter. This is my He's man. Also, Street Fighter. John, yeah. John just loves Street Fighter. Y'all don't know. Yep. Like, you know what I mean? Yep. <laughs> this is fun. More Street I'm Fighter. This is yeah. for for Wicked Foot. Um, this oh, was just this yeah. was just really like I, he just took the whole page up. So I was like, all right, I'm not gonna do well, much. The, well, the, the <laughs> thing is, is that he wanted the hand in the middle, and right. and and these razors they don't really got a lot of space on the right. Like you know oh, what no, I'm saying? Yeah, this is the pan. This is a new razor, the Panther. Yeah, Evo. they don't really have much space on the right. Not my favorite stick to to do art on, but it's a beautiful stick all around. But he just wanted the hand in the middle. So th essentially, this is kind of the middle. But I, you know, yeah, I just put the hand in. The, you know, th this is the whole you know Bison's. The full, you know, character pick stance. It just he just wanted the black, but and uh, gray. You made his face like <laughs> fucking devious that's as hell. To be the shitty bison or that's the normal. Bison? It's just normal bison, just the alternate color. Even the and skull what, is like devious. Oh yeah, I forgot. This. Well, with the skull, <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to get devious with it. You know, we're right. still devious at. Yes, yeah, I just wanted devious. to get devious on this thing inks hella teeth right and just like you know he, i want him to look menacing look, look, look like, at this <laughs> look at all this this is crazy <laughs> you can see the details on the shoulder pads details on his on the sleeves right here yeah uh, if you could zoom in i don't know if you guys can zoom in if you're watching the chat but there's a lot of specs and different brushes right here, and yeah. shading and stuff like that so you know oh damn, uh, about your b-rad says uh it low-key reminds him of dc comic style yeah, I mean, I'm a DC fan. That that's who I am. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, I mean, thanks for that. I appreciate that. How oh, you do? You you damn right. I'm the best in hyper fighting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, so, so Sifu called it out. He sees some of the Shadowloo soldiers. That's actually from the game. If you beat the game of Bison, oh. you you see some of these soldiers yeah, the in the back. Skulls in the back. Or Fang. I forgot if it's Fang or Bison. 
I think I, I nabbed that from the game though. And you see it, you know, there's a the silhouette of the Shadowloo logo. And I did this, this is my hand style, the You're Weak. Um, you know, I just drew that with my hand and then, uh, you know, I did that in Procreate with like one of the pen brushes and I just embellished it. But I wanted to make it like really like, uh, you know, I, I guess the style is a little bit, it's, it's kind of graffiti, but it's also like a, sh like a Shadowloo, like, you know, kind of grimy vibe, I guess. That, that, that's the look I was going for the hand style when I was drawing it. And then this, this little bison in here is from an older piece too, right here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was from uh, oh, that was from last year's, right? Yes. That yes. was one of the beginnings. It was the the Five Kings. Right. Yeah. yeah this this mean? is for uh, our boy Taser Shock <laughs> Five Kings. Um. So I, yeah. I nabbed the bison from. So I recycled the bison and put him in here. But I think that came out pretty cool. Ooh. Oh man. I'm gonna let you guys catch up. But this one. Oh my god. Oh yes. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, I totally forgot about this. <laughs> Clever I forgot gosh. about what every PC. What is wrong with man. me, bro? Uh um this is was what was this our, our, Kazumi? our second Tekken? Tekken Kazumi. Yeah, Kazumi but our second Tekken stuff. request, Oh, right? second Tekken, second Tekken. I think this is our second Tekken. And, and Say that 10 times you know, I, I suck at Tekken, but we got nothing but love for Tekken on the rail. We love Tekken. We love watching Tekken. We love Tekken characters that are iconic. So this is Kazumi, right? This yeah. is what Jin's mom, you know, <laughs> so, <laughs> Jin's my whole family. Kazuya's mom. Kazuya's, Kazuya's mom. Kazuya's okay, Kazuya's okay. mom. Okay. So uh, with this one, I just wanted to make her extremely beautiful. Like I just wanted to just be as beautiful as possible, and the only way I can do that is to draw her in my style, the way I draw my female characters. Mm -hmm. And they usually have a you no know, strong highlight on the cheek big eyes big puffy lips and i just wanted to do like that so i got her that this is the typical pose you see her in if you google her she's always in like this pose like that almost semi-dancing mm -hmm. but i then i don't know where it came from but like yo this chick throws tigers bruh yeah so yep. yeah she throws tigers man i don't I, i'm like okay so we gotta have a tiger in there and it was and then just it you know i don't draw animals yeah i was about to say like drawing animals stresses you out <laughs> This was hard for me, y'all. I don't draw animals. I don't draw tigers like this. So I had I had to look for a reference where the tiger is jumping, you know, see if I could mold it a little, make it more like menacing with the teeth and like a little glare of light. Yeah. And obviously with clothing, you go with airbrush if you really want to make the clothing, you know, shine and look smooth and flowy. So with this one, I stick to the airbrush. It, you know, airbrush is closest to my traditional works. In terms of like uh, charcoal and smearing it and that's the closest i could get to working on real stuff so airbrush is like my main thing but you when know you a lot it. of people don't like that you know what i mean yeah, they like yeah. solid the, the udon colors but i enjoyed this and i knew i was going with this out from the rip gotcha Go ahead, <laughs> yeah uh this one you know i just kind of wanted to play with a color this was really like the background is i just went with the tight like a tiger pattern but more importantly, I wanted this to really just pop because, man, that it, Kazumi, like, it just need. I think it needed, like, there's, like, elegance on the left. And then I just needed, like, bright, like, smack you so in the face. Sick, yeah, color. Um, and this, that's the theme we went with this. Like, even the gradients that I used or, you know, you'll, you'll see a lot of these similar themes that we use to really bring out pieces. That's kind of like our, our mark, right? People think that we just make, like, really vibrant shit. But um, this is what was one of the first one that I was just like, all right, you know what? We really got to make this one like pop. And first of all, shout out to uh, Vasir. He's from France, right? Yeah, and, again, um, overseas. Bro. Yeah, they the love overseas. Us, bro. Love. We love them. <laughs> yep. And uh, he also really wanted his name kind of like a kanji style. That's why if you look on the bottom, it looks like Japanese, but that's actually, um, you know, fake Japanese. So it's actually his name, V-H-Y-S-E-R-E, -E, right down here. And then, you know, the typical Tekken font. So, it's about it. This is definitely one of my. This is definitely a banger, bro. Hey, Cliff, check your Discord, bro. Oh. Oh. All right, we got Fizang taking the poison. This one was from my man Bavari. First of all, it takes a lot of guts to put Fang on a fight stick, right? Let's just say that. Let's just say that. It takes a lot, a lot um, of guts. Okay, Fang. Oh, yeah. Fang. Fang. It takes Fang, a lot Fang, of guts Fang. to put Fang on a fight stick. It's probably the most hated character in Street Fighter V. Yeah. No. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Uh, like, would, yeah, just, no, I like, like if, if this guy sat next to me in a tournament, I would just be like, fuck this guy. I'm not fighting you, you, Fang. Yeah, if, if this guy's <laughs> rocking this in tournament, you are going to lose. Like, I don't care how godly you think you are. No one is prepared for a Fang. Right, and a no good way. Fang. I can't be no Fang. No one is prepared for Fang. No way. 
with this one, if it's with this one, I don't know if you guys remember that MTV show with the guy, the big purple guy. Man, what's his name? Big purple guy with the big giant teeth. Uh, he's got like yellow hands. And he's got a villain that looks just like this. The Max. Okay. You, you oh, guys right. remember the show yes. The Max? Yes. The villain kind of looks Farland, like though? this. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of like, I wanted him to be very extra slimmy and thinny than he is in the game. Uh -huh. And a very loose cape. And just like, it's like kind of like a, just a weird type of, just weird. He just looks weird. I wanted to make him weird. And then uh, I wanted to, he has a, if you notice Poison's kimono or jacket, whatever it's called, has a lot of details inside of it. And if you look in, I try to grab those details, but also blend it into the suit. I didn't want it to pop out and mm -hmm. look like some old like pattern, mm -hmm. just like this in your face. So I just, again, I went with airbrush because I feel more comfortable with airbrush doing loose clothes like this. It really makes it bright out. Dude, can you it talk really about, makes it pop. Can you, you know? talk about how the hell you do those floral patterns in there? Like, how did... How I, 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 I honestly, I drew like a couple, copy, paste, move. Uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of manipulations with it, you know, but a lot of the times I'm drawing them in the ones that I can't fit. Uh -huh. it's, a lot, it's a lot of work that goes into it more than what people, you know, think that it is, is... I'm always drawing, like I'm always working it out. And then again, like at first with this one, at first I'm like, I don't know if I grabbed him. Did I grab him? Does it look like poison? Is does it feel like poison? But then John comes in once again <laughs> and brings it all together, man. Look at that background. Look at those colors. Look at the white behind him to make him pop out. Like yeah, that, that's something that, that white that's, is is like the kanji on his on his lo on his uh you know the, his outfit. Yeah. So yeah. that like like I was saying before, like me and John, we just got I don't know how I couldn't tell you how, but art wise chemistry wise we're on point like it, it just, we just blend well like i didn't yeah. tell john to do that in the back to make the character pop out that's sick man yeah. <laughs> that really makes my artwork look great i'm like oh okay so it looks fine to me you know what i mean right so, i actually drew this dagger here <clears throat> i drew the dagger oh yeah, yeah yeah for the logo right yeah and then uh no, i remember that i remember that yeah yeah i actually it's that's you, pretty good look at that shit you did the uh you did the the smoke pattern in the back yeah i did it i did it with a little bit of brush from yeah procreate. god bless procreate man <laughs> well what, what i did uh was i embellished that around the buttons as well to make it look like you know the poisons wrapping around the buttons a little bit and also the logo if you look in the in the, in the bottom logo the poisons around that too so yeah i love this one yeah this is good but it's still Fang, so. It's still Fang. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we love we love Street Fighter, man. No matter what. He's my worst yeah. matchup. One Definitely, of the worst I can't beat Fang. Forgive. I can't beat Fang at all. Uh, no, oh, okay. This one's left field. Definitely one. This is definitely a banger. Uh, oh, Yahoo! You forgot about this. I forget one. about this one. This was all. <laughs> Jojo said no one knows the Fang frame data. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows. Even no if you knows. look it up, the frame data site don't even know. Right. Um. Obviously, as you can see, this is a horror theme, Jason theme, something straight out, straight out the blue. Wasn't this from the same guy that did the, we did the old... Yeah, this is the one he did the, the um, if you look on the bottom, Jeremy L. Yeah. He's the guy that commissioned okay, yeah. the uh, Clockwork Orange um, yeah. and uh, Persona 5. Again, this is also a Razor, right? Am I correct? Yes, the Razor Panther. So this Evo. was a Razor. So then I'm like, okay, I need to get used to this layout. So with the Razor, that also the bottom bends a little bit. You got a lot of bottom space. So obviously I attacked the left. You know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, I attacked the left, and um, I wanted to go kind of like I did with um, the Sam Show piece with Earthquake. I just wanted to do a lot of heavy ink, a lot of detail. You know, comic book shit where you can see the blood and inks flat. And I gave it just like, you know, this blur effect, this gradient effect where I wanted to feel like it was from a movie or from an anime that, you know, very old school. And then, and then I had the vision where I don't know where this came from. Forgive me if it sounds creepy, but I just, you know, I wanted this the scary face the woman's face on the blade <laughs> to make <laughs> to give it that really oh, like you know kind of like a reflection of yeah like yeah, yeah. exactly so I, I i took that image from the internet i <laughs> you know we hacked that shit we just hacking shit we, we, hacked the internet. we hacked the internet dropped her in there used some gradient faded it out blended it in and make it really look like you know she about to get you know mortal kombat 10 you yeah. know fatality you know what i'm saying right and uh, the the, the, ba the, the background is just simple, man. I just look. Like, it's fucking Jason, <laughs> man. I just I needed to be in the woods, man. I, I just like I just really freaked the the colors, you know. Just made it. Thanks, like, shit. <laughs> yeah, this is just my typical stuff. Friday Thirteenth logo slap on, slap that on. You know, just made this as scary as fucking possible, but still made it pop. Cause you know a lot of things could just look like bleak and black, 
you know but this one we we still wanted to make it pop off the page a little bit so i love it, I, I love it. yeah I, this one's fire definitely fire and around this time the game was coming out too which was also fire right that can these be made out. in the t-shirts dude layer shift i wish we could do stuff like that but licensing dude first yeah. of all like can we just talk about look at the detail in his skin right here look at all this <laughs> yeah man i went Damn. in bro I went him and I I, I really had a lot of fun. You know, I'm, you know, I don't know. I got a, I got a thing for the dark shit. Look, bro. Look, 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 at, look, at the, look at the look at the rip right here. It's crazy, right there. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway, all right. Ooh, okay. Hairbone Warrior again, but not this time. Not a Chun Li. Oh, oh God, sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, Chungers. I mean, Cammy. Let's go. Oh wait. I, uh, oh, oh, let me move my mouse. Oh, uh, <laughs> with this one. <laughs> But okay, this one, I just wanted to be in your face with it. You know what I mean? You know what, you know what, Cammy is. <laughs> yams. So, uh, yams. Yams. You know yams, what I mean? yams and them greens a lot. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. So, uh, with this one, he asked for that color again. Hair, hair bug with, with the colors. You know what I mean? I love that he picks different colors. And this is the uh, Alpha Cammy, right? Yeah. The, this kill, is the killer, killer B, B killer right? B, yeah. K killer B. And um. With that one, you know, it's very simple with this one. Uh, very udon like, very solid. You know, simple shading, cartoon shading, a little bit of highlights there. I think I got the face pretty good, the hair swinging, and then honestly, John ripped this. Look at this. This is purely all John. I mean, my artwork is just, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, you know, it's like a, I I, I edited down this like Shadowloo, you know, like tribal thing. Um, I used it a couple times and for my personal pieces, but it really fit this one. And then the logo, I kind of still wanted to make it very like Shadowloo like. Um, if you look at the the kanji on the bottom, it says Vega. Believe it or not, it says Vega or Vega, right? Um, the way Japanese pronounce Vega, and that the kanji stands for Elite Guards. So as you guys know, in Japan, M Bison is Vega, and uh, you know if you guys look that up, if you don't know what the hell we're talking about. But in the in the uh, Japanese version of the game, you know Vega is Bison. So this is like. You know they're called the elite guards but the way we call it in english is like basically they're just like the killer bees right so mm -hmm. you know i just played off that big shadow thing um we use some of the graphics that we've done in the past like this this cami we kind of did this before so we we did this cami actually no wait you did this for this piece too right no 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 oh, well this no yeah piece? that was like one of the ones like we said like i just, I just oh yeah drew. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. that's from the previous uh dolls right okay in the, previous dolls. In the buttons this was the dolls um that, yeah, yeah. that we used in the past and then yeah that's about it this is just really more of like a um like an illustrative piece you know so i like it man this came out this first of all it was a lot of trouble getting the stick made um from hairball that's Warrior. right yeah he had yeah, trouble like remember printing that. problems yeah, and wrong file yeah and, it was crazy but we finally sorted it out and he unfortunately he didn't have to pay um extra for it yeah Ooh, the geese you see oh jesus christ Sorry, I, I, sorry. I never look back. Like I never get a chance to actually look back, man. Yes, geese. I believe. Yeah, I it's, believe. Uh, Vasir, Vasir also um, commissioned us from France. Yes, yes. Another, again, overseas. Shout out to overseas. They show us so much love, and they also. I think they have to pay more because of yeah. the money, right? Yeah. So you know, we try to give them our best work, and with geese, he's a. I love this character. You know what I mean? Predictable. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. I went with that kind of stance with the hand and then like the other hand and then I went for a very 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 painterly style with this one. I'm happy with the way it came out. Lots of red, lots of gold, very smooth. Uh there's like there's like a hint of blue into the shirt to give it like, you know, some ambient lighting from the background of the the, the blue flames. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's pretty much all I did. I had a lot of fun. It wasn't really a lot of yeah. struggle with this one. You know, I love um, it. Yeah. yeah, he made he actually made this very easy for me too. He just wanted this very specific background. So I was like, okay. And you know, I did a little bit of color correction and stuff and I added if you could if you know the biggest thing that I did is um just adding some of these like texture effects to the sides like this. You know, that's really about it. I didn't really go too ham on on the background on this because he wanted something very specific. We re, we uh, reuse his logo here and also like his uh, the geese um, kanji. You know, that's so basically sick, about it. Man. And you can also see like John's graffiti background kick in. Like you notice the blending of colors and the very graffiti. Like like John knows how to how to manage these colors. And this color palette looks amazing to me. Like it looks great. 
Yeah, yeah. Good job, John, man. You killed it, bro. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> where's the buddy fist bump emoji like we yeah. need that you know what I mean? yo guys first of all we tried to do this for real but you know we, we uh yeah social distancing sorry yeah. i mean <laughs> covid19 ocv the whole covid yeah, yeah. ocv the yeah. whole fucking season uh, yeah this everything. year man the whole fighting game community got ocv'd by covid19 he is man. the fucking final boss for sure <laughs> Yeah, yeah Blaster, yeah, that's exactly what I was getting at. You yeah. know SNK, that's all. It's like they have several different type of fires coming out, different ultras. All right, guys. Oh, let's go. We got a giveaway, yeah. guys. All right, guys. So we have uh, oh, a print away. bundle one <laughs> giveaway. Okay, so God damn it. If uh, Here's the rules on the bottom. You got to follow. So hit the follow button if you guys are just tuning in. Let me flip to my camera real quick. Um, let me see if I can do this. Hang on. Let me see. Time out. We do have a giveaway, guys. Time out. Ah, gotta turn off my oh, Elgato. Shit, look, at us, right. look at us. We in the chat, in the group down there. All right, this is print <laughs> bundle number one. You're gonna get the Honda print that you guys just saw. This is an exclusive, oops, exclusive <laughs> from Clev. We drew this for ECT. This is Baraka. 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 He ugly. Yep. He got a lot of teeth, right? You think he brushes teeth in the morning? We got the Mitsurugi in here. So that's, of course, that's, that's, of course. You're at three prints already, guys. And then we we, we got the, the geese. Oops, sorry. Got the geese, geese print. Right? Yeah, and these are high quality prints, y'all. Yeah. Y'all don't know. Like, yeah, you can't get plastic. this shit at Staples, bro. <laughs> you got the Shiki. All right. You guys have already seen this one. This is an exclusive. Lucia, the I Lucia. Love Metro City. <laughs> that was so much fun to do, man. Look at Hagar. That was so much fun. Hagar's in the fucking mug. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, John was like, yo, let's do something for uh, ECT. Yeah. We did a special print. Yeah. And then you guys were asking it. about a geef. This is also, this is an older one. Oh, man, that was just for fun, though. Yeah, this is a yeah, fun one. Yeah. A fun one. <laughs> we did a geef. It's All right, so that's print pack yeah. number one, guys. Um, I will tell you that, you know, I'm going to ship it out for free if you're in the U.S., but if you end up being overseas, um, we'll work together to try to get, uh, get that over to you. Um, maybe yeah. we'll, like, split shipping or... Maybe uh, I'll, I'll, I'll separate like the U.S. call. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right, guys. So here's how this is going to work. I'm going to start the giveaway. Um, it should show up in the chat, I hope, please. Okay, there we go. Uh, wait, <laughs> no, that timer? didn't work. Hang on. Why is this not working? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Okay. If you guys check out the chat. So you, you got to be a follower, okay? And um, subs get additional tickets. All right, there you go. IMAX Mouse got it. So there's a five minute timer, guys. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, you see. Uh, so if you guys sub, uh, Righteous Regicide, for instance, he got two two tickets. All right. Yeah. So go ahead and do that, guys. And also, when you win, I raffle. Please um, message me either on Discord or here on Twitch via Whisper. Your your real name. I need your real name. God damn it. A lot a lot of y'all don't even like. They're like, yeah, my name's fucking Flamethrower Twenty Seven, and then I'm, I'm writing a goddamn like I'm, I'm writing on the envelope Flamethrower Twenty Seven. Twenty Seven from fucking uh, you know Bumblefuck Nebraska. Like, Who? You know Who? what I mean? <laughs> you can't be Flamethrower Twenty Seven in the mail. All yeah, right. Also, guys, b before we sign over anything, like I just want to say I appreciate all you guys showing us love. Yeah. And like, man, you guys been showing us solid support. Like, not just right. a little bit of support, solid, solid support for two years now, right. man. And we're I we're just, just halfway. Say, Can you believe? Yeah, that? yeah. Like, I just want to say thank you. Yeah. And also, yo, let's keep supporting John. John is home base. The stream is home base. The Discord is home base. So share the stream. Share with your friends if they're not up on this channel. Yeah. Let's get John up there. We're trying to get him to become a, a partner. All right. Let's get that popping. You know what I mean? So again, thank you everybody. Let's get this giveaway yeah. going. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna keep the timer going. There's three minutes, guys. Keep hitting the raffle. Um, there are 18 tickets out right now. So that's just you know, I'll, I'll let it, I'll let it rock. So we got three minutes. You want to keep going, Clev? We'll we'll keep going. Uh, while, while. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. Just let uh, everyone get in the raffle. Yeah. Um, yeah, we still yeah, got man, the raffle, yeah. guys. Exclamation point a, raffle. Oh, we got some randoms. Oh, look at this. Let's keep going. This one got to be one of my best paintings, hands down. My oh, yeah? best paintings in terms of skin tone, skin reflection, the reflections of the skin, the bounce lighting, the green bounce lighting, 
I had so much goddamn fun. The ambient light on her hands, so much fun. And also this stick came out just as good, except maybe the buttons could have been different, but you know, I would have went with the clear buttons, but I think he went oh, with when, blue, when, right, John? When he finished? I think he got yeah. like a dark purple, like but a, then he's going to yeah. switch them, I think, eventually. Yeah, like I would have went clear with this. But yeah, this yeah. one, it took me a while, but it took me a while, but I'm totally happy with this. And again, my hard work is nothing without the homie John. Right. Um, you know, this one, I just kind of did like a re- little play on the logo. And if you guys, you guys see the scratches, so I, I try to make it like with depth so that like she literally scratch it and like it's bleeding now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Oh man, this is cool, man. John, man, you're the best. Yeah. Uh, uh layer says, did either yeah. of you have any formal training in this or just lots of hours and experience? Uh, you can answer first, Clev. Uh, me just straight up drawing every day. I mean, I don't think there's a day I haven't drawn. Uh, YouTube, lots of YouTube, and I follow artists, a lot of artists on Instagram and stuff like that. So, it's it's just self discipline. Like you know, I want to get better, so I just worked on myself basically. Mm. That's it. Yeah, uh, on my draw, end, uh, on my layer own. shift. Mm. I actually have a degree for um for fine arts. Um, so I have a a degree in fine arts with a special um specialty in graphic design so that's where i really get you know i I understand color theory and all that stuff just because of you know my background in that but i will say that most of my photoshop knowledge is by myself even though i did learn it back in college but i'm old and you know photoshop changed 900 (laughs) times since then so it's just literally like you know um trial and error and just doing things every day you know we're always busy so that we always got stuff to do and we yeah we definitely need a new dark stalkers game for sure um this is also probably one of my top five pieces i think i I think i I love this one this is like one of the best like i love it the color palette everything is it came out great like yeah yeah, yeah. like the thing the thing why i get like shocked and amazed by it is because we don't know how it's gonna come out we we never know we just when it's done we're like holy shit we did it like you know <clears throat> yeah man all right guys we have uh 10 seconds left in the raffle i'm gonna let this ride out and then we are gonna pick a winner real quick hang on let me flip back over here five four three two one all right i'm gonna hit the button and we will see it in the chat in just a second Uh oh what's happening come on chat Delayed. okay Delayed. wait yeah it <laughs> says you can okay here we go Okay, oh, oh, Asian Soul, Asian Soul is the winner. Hype, hype, hype of the pack. Hey yo, uh, hey, <laughs> of the yo. art pack. Yo, hold on, I gotta, I gotta like write. I gotta get like, cause I'm gonna get confused which art pack is who. So I'm gonna write. So shout out to Asian Soul. Um, if you guys didn't know, Asian Soul, he's actually the one that commissioned the Honda. The first piece that we did um, on the stream tonight. So he's the uh, well deserved. Yeah, yeah well, well deserved. <laughs> I yep. Hold on, uh, I just gotta write down who this is so I don't get confused for later. All right, we're done. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, guys. All right. Oh man, this is killer too. God damn it. What we got? Oh shit. Jesus Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Jesus. Right, <laughs> Jade, Damn. you already know. Yep, you already know what it is. Uh, you know, Mortal Kombat. A lot of Mortal Kombat is, you know, models based off real people. Mortal Kombat is that game, so I wanted to get as realistic as I can. A lot of painter, you know, painting, airbrush, different brushes. You'll see the glue, the uh, the ambient light off the metal. Uh, you know, still textures, the soft textures on her suit. You know, it's very like clothy, not really shiny. Mm-hmm. And I, I had a blast. I did the background a little bit just to give like a canvas to work on, you know, for, for John. Yeah. And uh, I just really went in. I don't know. I just wanted to go ham on terms of like as, as realistic as I can, but still make it stylish art. You know, that's pretty much it. Yeah, man. I remember the background being kind of like a struggle for me for this one. So I took mm. Clev's painted background. And I, I also wanted to like show like a little bit of Outworld, you know, t- style graphics. So that's why you see some of these like gothic things like you know in the back here it's kind of hidden you know it's it's kind of just like a subtlety but i was trying to go for that vibe you know like what, what's going on with these like with, with the stakes over here was this like uh 
Was, well, the stakes I got from like you know you, you play a Mortal Kombat game, the, the Nether World, uh, they always have like monsters hanging on stakes or just like heads yeah. on stakes, like you know what I mean. <laughs> so you know, like the pit, like if you look at the MK pit, it's always uh-huh. like a head hanging from the stick or some shit. So I just wanted this to give it like some dark ambient background, like you know, it's Mortal Kombat, you know. Yeah. So I just wanted to keep it, yeah, in the pit. Yep. Yep. Yo, uh, Asian Soul, please um, message me your uh, address. I probably still have it somewhere, but from from back in the day. But just message me your address. All right. Thanks, bro. All right. Good Hello. stuff. Good stuff. Oh, um, the buttons on this one. I kind of want to make mm-hmm. it really majestic. Um, and that's why you see like it's like the, almost like a crown, like a knife, like a little bit of mm-hmm. you know. Uh, I, I really found some crazy stylized like crowns and made it work for these buttons over here that's why I, you never really see me do anything like this where it's like you it know really good, different man. but it, it, i wanted to make it look like some of her armor that that clev did over here so that was the reason why i did that you know but yeah this is this is a I banger like i remember yeah. like i remember another when i first razor, right? one, i was like yeah this is another <laughs> razor on um, panthera evo oh next one oh my god Oh yes! Yeah, is this Zero. one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, god, the god drop loads again, right? Yeah. So yeah, drop loads. Uh, this man. one, uh, if you know, okay, so this one, obviously, I wanted to go comic book Udon style. You can tell, you can see the solid coloring. With this one, um, the top one, no reference at all. Uh, forget his name. What's his name? That's um, Ch- um uh, God, what's the, he's like a I forget they're, his name. They're wrestlers from. Uh, yeah, this is the Lucha Brothers, right? That's yep. um, uh, Pentagon Junior. Pentagon, Pentagon Junior. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And his brother. Phoenix. Yep. Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix. So with uh, Pentagon Phoenix. Jr., I just uh, I just went, I just freestyled that that composition. But if you notice, Phoenix in the bottom, his brother. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Hold he's on. Got, yeah. Wait. Let, let's let's let him let's let him guess. Can you guys guess what pose? Yeah. Like what pose is that? That that you come on. Yeah. What pose is that pose? If you right. play Street Fighter, if you play Street you Fighter. Know this pose. Yeah. Yes. You, Wait, who said? <laughs> Ryan. Did. Oh, Ryan did. Oh, come on, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, All right, Fade, yeah, Fade got it. Fade got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just, you know, I had to. I mean, I it, that's another character we all hate, but we all, you know, love low key. You know? Super I love the Ryan cooking <laughs> time. Tortilla bomb. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. Super dynamite so, cooking time. Okay, <laughs> 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 he's just running around. <laughs> Whatever. So yeah. So uh. That's where I got that pose. I'm like, I gotta pay tribute to the wrestler that that annoyed us yeah. for like five, six years. Hey, so Jesse, don't judge us. So um, yeah. So that's basically what it is. Tattoos, you know. Obviously, I can't really see the tattoos, so I just like mudded it out and uh-huh. very quick brushes. And that is very simple. This one's very simple, but it's just sometimes that's all it needs to be. Like nice, you know what nice. I mean. And then John takes it and does his thing. Yep. You see how it keeps it. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Buttercade who just joined the chat. Drive safely, Buttercade the God. Please follow yeah. him. Yeah, follow Please that check man. his website out. Yeah. Oh. Butter Bomber and all the, all the cool stuff he makes for the FGC. Shout out to yeah, him. I need and to we showed off some of, of his pieces. And we're not done showing off some of his pieces. Um, <laughs> yeah. The background with this one, it's actually some of the graphics from like their masks. I, w- I still have all the original files, but you can't really see it. Like, for instance, Ray Phoenix's mask. Um, that's the pattern of his mask that's kind of stretched out on the bottom and also that gold pattern on the on the right side um, So what I did is I actually drew their masks like in vector and then I, I colored them and I stretched them out to be like part of the Background look and then the, the gold that you see it is also just kind of an embellishment of that and then you know It just put some like metal bar metal bars inside the buttons on there uh, Cero miedo right <laughs> yeah yeah that's how it goes down that's how it go right with the <laughs> right with these guys um and yeah just aew logos a little bit of fans like cheering in in, in the middle i kind of want to make it look like a transition graphic like if um if these guys had a match you know like that quick screen that swipes yeah, across the screen you got it yeah yeah that's exactly what you know the vibe i was going for versus you know yeah, what I mean? yeah yeah even though they're a team but that that's basically what it is yo, yo still still, what up? still devious good? is in the house <clears throat> What's good, man? All right, moving on. Okay, this one, this one's, this one's pretty awesome. I think, I think we killed the colors on this one. Oh yeah, very clean, very clean. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, that's Ori. Uh, mm-hmm. Ori, Ori uh, very simple request. You know, he just wanted Ori with uh, the yellow color layout, 
and uh, I just keep it as anime-ish as I can. You know what I mean? It's very simple, thin lines with the anime. The anime style has very, very thin lines. Uh, solid colors again, and a uh, little bit of ambient blue on the hair for the background. I believe you did the background first, right? I forgot. I think you might have like I think you might have like hit me with this a little bit of the background, and then I gave it back to you. And yeah. then uh, you you reworked it and or, or, uh, or maybe I put like a I put a bullshit Ori from the internet in first and then you then Yeah, I think yeah. that's what you did. You you laid out the composition, like you put her hair and yeah. then I redrew it. I redrew it different colors, different uh different uh, stance and stuff like that. Yeah. And then so. we have I, I don't even know how to call this, but the their their persona? Oh, what I forgot. Like the uh, the stand, I guess from JoJo. <laughs> yeah, stand, she has a stand yeah. from JoJo. I yeah, guess. so that's the yeah. sha- that's the um the shadow of of uh, you know her particular stand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> look at how, look at Duke, the loaves of breads are, are just great. All right, so he actually, so there. if you guys are wondering what the hell this what, what, <laughs> what this freaking uh, bread is over here, <laughs> the Italian bread with butter. Yeah, the, with this cheese. is this was provided to us. This is um you know uh, Sergio's um, SoCal. He's from SoCal, and I guess they have like a group. Like uh, French bread is the um, the developer of Undernight. If you guys don't know that, so they have a, a French bread group. You know, I guess I don't know if it's a Discord. I don't know if it's a crew, whatever. But he sent me this logo. I was like, "Can you put this in?" I was like, "Ah, it doesn't really fit with what we're doing." Uh, I'm gonna just smack him in the buttons. So I just put him in the buttons, right? But uh, yeah, this piece, I think, um, you know, a lot of motion. I wanted to portray a lot of motion in, in the um, in the in the composition. That's why you kind of see that like slash in the middle. And I even added like extra lines that look like lasers. You know, um, the the silhouette. Uh, I'm sorry, the outline on the right side is basically the sword. Like, um, it's just a, a line art of the sword to kind of break up the composition a little bit and, and, and balance out Ori on the left and, you know, basically just makes your eye a little bit more uh, focused on, like, the overall piece rather than just Ori. So that's about it. And, you know, typical anime city background, by the way. All right. Oof. All right, next one. Damn. Oof. Yo, so we see, so we see you. We gonna get to you soon after this. <clears throat> oh God, yes, this is very recent, actually, right? <clears throat> is this Grand this, Blue? No, this nope. is from the character. This is from the character. Uh, Neo. The game. Neo. Uh, Neo. Yep. And um, I forget his name. I forget the character's name. If you guys know it, drop it in the chat. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, William, right? Your yeah, boy William. William. <laughs> yeah, William yeah. The boy William. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I uh, William Hepburn or something like that, right? No, I came across I this this composition, like this form, the way he's grabbing the samurai. It's from the anime. It's from the manga. I forgot. He's kind of like eternal. The samurai is eternal. Uh, something blade or eternal blade or whatever it is. And he's grabbing the sword just like that. And I'm like, yo, that pose is godlike. I need to capture William in that pose. Mm. So that essentially, that's what I did. I, I I grabbed that pose. I tried my best to replicate it, but include the armor that obviously William is wearing, which he requested it. The samurai armor that you get at the beginning. It, you get that. Like, this is one of the first armors you actually get. So I just, you know, just went ham with that. And I made things extra long. Like, you know, the legs are long, the arms are long. Just to give it that you know he's about to let it rip. You know, the fire is coming. Like, the blade is coming. And that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, solid colors, thin line, thin inks, lots of detail, but very controlled detail. Not very sloppy at all. I wanted to be as clean, but yet, you know, put dirt on it. You got blood everywhere. You know what I mean? You see the legs, blood, blood on the things, stuff like that, you know? And then I pass it over to the homie John. Oh, yeah. I did the wolf too. I, yeah, did, I did. The he wolf. gave me a selection of the animals, but I did the wolf because what? It's a wolf. Like you know, how do you not pick the wolf? So yeah. yeah. Uh, Still is asking if you played the game for reference. I did play. You know, these Souls games and stuff like that are not my type of games. I don't. I don't find enjoyment in losing. <laughs> <And> then, like, <laughs> or just dying over and over. Dying and over and over. That shit makes me want to break my controller. Like you know, but I did play. To the part where I, I did get that suit. I actually did get that suit and I did get that. I picked that wolf and I did play a little bit. And then, you know, other games came out. We got back on Street Fighter. You know, we get on Street Fighter through the waves. We do Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 5. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know how it is. Then yeah. Apex for me. <clears throat> uh, for me, like the background of this, I saw this um, this particular graphic of like this floating scroll, like a bent scroll. And that's why it's like that. So it's basically like a scroll that's like. You know, like imagine it rolled out. You know, and it, 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 that's basically the look I wanted it to have. I, I don't know what compelled me to kind of 
do it that way, but it was just like I saw this really awesome scroll and I kind of just filled in some of the, the paintings in there of a typical like, you know, scene from the game like a you know the yeah. like a samurai japanese you know background and stuff like that and you see some of the logos on the on the left and right wings of the fights this is on my one of my bnb sticks by the way which is really cool so shout out to snow milk for the um for the you know for supporting and then yeah just you know very samurai vibe if you guys know anything about this like the the background of, of uh william it's actually based off a real western um like a european that went to Japan through his travels and kind of became like a samurai, right? Yeah. So that yeah. that's kind of like you know the the whole story behind that. I kind of just want to portray that a little bit. Um, that's why you see all those like uh, those different gods. Yeah. Different uh, with the Nor gods, like you know what I mean, Nordic gods. Yeah. Running around him all the time. <clears throat> yep. Hi, yo, one one one. What's up, man? Whoa, one 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 in the chat. What's up, dude? Yeah, we passed your Sananju piece, bro. Um. And how you do can saying the lines on the sleeves are insane. Oh yeah, like this oh, stuff right it. here, crazy, crazy. Yeah, it's a lot of work. I mean, it, we love this stuff, man. It, we wouldn't do it if it was out of love, man. Oh, oh, oh! Hold up, <laughs> that's <laughs> mine, y'all. <laughs> yep. So we get to treat ourselves every once in a while, right? We get to treat yeah, ourselves. Well, I a little, guess. Yeah. Uh, I guess I break it down. I guess. Yeah. This is like I did like three things on. I did four <laughs> things on this. But go ahead. Go ahead. Uh. Well. Spike. You know. Um. What? Uh. My. Um. My beautiful girlfriend got me the Quamba Obsidian for Chris for Christmas, and um. I'm like, it's my turn to do a stick. You know what I mean? It's, it's my turn to cut the boat. You know. As you can see, Spike Spugly, the god in in the spaceship, <laughs> god. the uh, the swordfish, the swordfish too, and Cowboy Bebop is my favorite anime of all time. There's no character I relate to more than Spike Spugly, and I just wanted to replicate a scene from the show. This is a scene from the show I drew exactly. I just edited the colors for it to pop. You know what I mean? So the colors are brighter. You can tell the, if you know why. For anybody that's a fan, you know why Spike has two different color eyes. But I'll leave that to the fans. And then the green here. Then I highlighted the back to make it seem like he's in the world. In the red, the vibrant red world. And, you know, clear buttons. I mean, I, I just handed it over to John. I'm like, John, I want this quote. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah, and I just I put the spaceship. Like, you see that logo a lot in, in <clears throat> Cowboy Bebop. The spaceship yeah. right over here. So I kind of made it like an underline to the, the Cowboy Bebop logo. Of course, we had to use the Japanese version of the logo, mm -hmm. right? Um, and then I actually wanted to make it like, try a cool effect. Um, I don't know if you noticed this, Clev, but the gun, if you shine this piece under a black light, the gun shines. No way, seriously? Yeah. Don't do that to me. I'll do that shit for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I, you know. You, <laughs> trip me out, bro. You can see, like, this yeah, gun. By his own artwork. Yeah, yeah, for real, right? You can see the gun over here. Um, you know, I, so I really illustrated, like, his particular um, gun that he uses. Yeah, I think it's the N7, or is yeah. it? Yeah. Something like that. It's... Right. And then I dropped it in as kind of just, like, a, you know, like an embellishment on there. Um, button simple. Just, like, you know, like, techie. A little bit of techie, like, you know. Yeah, you know, just kind of go with the spaceship vibe, and then uh, of course a little bit more of a ship right over here. But yeah, I kind of wanted to make it pop off the page. So yeah, that's kind of like an Easter egg. Like if you literally put this under like a blue light, <laughs> you'll so see sick. the gun pop out a little bit. It looks pretty cool. And John's always great with the lettering work and the yeah. bloom. It looks amazing. Exactly what I wanted. It's perfect. And uh, B Rat, to your question, yeah, I actually do like it. I it, it sits well on my lap. It's not over my my legs. It's not too big. It's thin. I'm actually I've been playing a lot of Street Fighter 4 with it and thanks to John he put the JLF in it my Dougly combos are, are oh you mean the, uh, <laughs> the, the auto DIY the, right yeah, auto the, DIY. yeah the auto DIY the, and the Kwama general it feels great yeah I'm actually enjoying it yeah, yeah we, we, we decked it out we put the crown buttons in there and it, yeah, it's, it's this is great oh the buttons yeah just a little touch you know what I mean yeah. <laughs> I love it man and hey, what we got next Badman oh okay this, this is, is cool uh, too this lars, is a right yeah huh? yeah lars yeah um all right so with lars he he just really wanted lars and vegeta's uh uh pink casual uh button up you know yeah. what i mean so it's, it's kind of like a mashup but it's not in your face mashup you kind of have to see that bad man in the back and be like oh shit vegeta so with this one again very very simple very simple coloring 
uh the hair the hands are nice and big like street fighter characters and very very as you can see i'm getting very comfortable with my ink work like i'm progressing with my ink work where i feel very confident and leaving things the way they are you know what i mean accepting like the shoulder spike i like spiky up like the shoulders poke out a little bit the hands like the knuckles i do those little spikes on my knuckles like that and mm -hmm. i'm starting to get real comfortable with my ink work which is something I always had difficulties with, you know what I mean? So, but this piece is clean, simple, and I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. It was overthinking this piece. And as you can got as you guys can see, you notice the hitbox? More more uh, more more hitbox layouts, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, hitbox is <clears throat> getting kind of crazy. It took man. over. It took over like at the end of last year to this year. The cheap box. It's crazy, right? <laughs> I guess it. Yeah, yeah Righteous Registry got one. So this is a shout out to Phantom Crash, it, oh, another B and B stick. Thank you for the support. I appreciate that. Um, this was kind of interesting, you know. I again, this is more of like a of, of like an illustrative piece rather than uh, I mean, I'm sorry, like a graphic design piece rather than like you know getting too fancy with the background um just wanted something to to kind of mash together so you see like the lions like that that L lars is kind of like known for you know that, that's like one of his themes right and uh that was it i just kind of tied in the, those lines together background the tekken city background from the if you ever look at um the tekken logo with like um heihachi on it right you, you can kind of see that the city background mm -hmm. the, the original ones i just kind of went with that and then there's actually a back to this too, right? We just put the big bad man on the the, the one that's on the logo. We did yeah. the back as well, just like really big on, on the back, right? Yeah. Yep. It's great work, man. Oh, and everybody's stick, saying that people switch. The finished build. Yeah, yeah. The finished build. This, the, it looks great. Yeah, It yeah, looks yeah. amazing, actually. Yeah. Like it just, the colors just work. And when it's built and, and it's on the B&B, &B, guys, the B&B &B is godlike. So it's on the B and B. It looks shiny, crystal clear. This brand new, like it, the finished product is amazing. He did really good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, we I definitely use a different color scheme than usual. Yeah, this yeah. is we definitely lean towards like a bluish purple, right? Right, and, reddish. This bluish had that purples. that green over it though. Yeah, it was just I don't know, amazing. Again, this is goes to John putting this yep. shit together, man. Honestly, it's dope. Oh man, oh man. What we got next. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, snow, snow milk again knows snow milk knows. I just have a talent to draw dark shit. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just he understands that. And that's his theme as well. He loves that, you know, horror movies, horror games. Yeah. So he knows that's what he wants. So I went just straight traditional manga. I, I kept my style. Obviously, it doesn't look like the manga, but I kept my style again i'm feeling confident with my inks a lot of ink work a lot of brush work even a little even a little like hash manga shading you know at, mm -hmm. in the bottom of the cape right. lots and lots of lots of detail blood just red and red and gray and he he when he saw that he's like yeah i like the way you went that's what i want <laughs> yeah i remember that and then you know i passed it over to john i hit john with a little bit of information about this manga this manga is very dark like you know what i mean mm -hmm. So I hit John with a little bit of info and I just let let John do his thing. Go ahead, John. Yeah, man. I just uh, honestly, I just did a play on the Berserk logo and like found, you know, some of the some of the like pages from the manga that you see in the back there. This is just crazy demonic shit. If you don't know what this is, bro, yeah. you don't know. <laughs> yeah, man. And then like I just I I, I just picked like a real crazy yes. like you know like killer type font and just fucking made this quick like quote logo that i'm like yeah. kind of famous for doing these like little logos yeah. you know but yeah i think we just wanted to make this one like god damn like again yeah. like you sit next to this <laughs> motherfucker i'm just gonna not even play shake hands just yeah. yo ggs yeah, ggs bro know what you game win he's playing in zamba whatever it yeah. is <laughs> <laughs> better guard up yeah that's it just yo i see the stick i'm shake hands i'm fucking you win man For just tell Go the t.o man defense. yo i went on too that's it <laughs> <laughs> some dude in the freaking berserker out yeah berserker that, that guy won over there man don't fuck with him that's basically that's basically how we wanted to roll with this piece but oh, yeah this man. is i think as far as detail went this one is just insane right yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just I just went ham. You went ham. Again, it worked well. Gray and red. I mean, right. gray, red, and black. Like, come on. Yeah. Man, that's awesome so colors, man. <laughs> I, I think uh, one of the things this kind of highlights is that, you know, not a lot, like having not a lot of color is actually almost as powerful as a lot of color. Mm -hmm. So there's literally like three shades on this. It's like gray, black, and red, right? And a little bit of that, yeah. that you know, the orange in the logo. That's it. And this thing just like still pops off the page. Like, what the hell? So... 
This is definitely this is up there in, in, in my list. This is definitely up there in my I list. Have fun. This was yeah. great. And I, I loved I I watched all the the anime to this, at least the movies, and so I'm familiar with Zerk. Nice, nice. So. Oh okay, this was a little fun project. What we did? What's this? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, for Xano. Yeah. So I gave <laughs> yeah. Xano um one of my H Rap fours. If you guys know the the Hori A Trap, it has this like gray overlay. So I kinda uh, wanted to keep that theme. That's why I was like, yo, we're just gonna do a black and white piece. Uh, um but I you know, I told E, I'm like, yo, we're just gonna do like a straight street graffiti style and uh yeah. he did this Nash like let's get this pose. <laughs> I, <from."> love, <laughs> I love it, man. I I love this bow I'm like honestly, like now if you ask me, yo, I throw bow lines on anything if I wanted to. Like Yeah. I love it. I feel comfortable doing it now. And you can see it just looks it looks great. It just matches what we do. And I should have colored this, man. I should have went full bone color sometimes. I think about this one. But yeah. we went all gray, right? You, you can, I mean, we could go back and do it. But yeah. yeah. But I kind of wanted to keep it black. And white. It's, like, it's just cool to have like a little something different. We never really do black and white. And it kind of looked pretty cool with um with that particular fight stick. Because it is black and white, the stock art. So mm -hmm. it, it basically just replaced it with like cooler art and like you know a little bit more of a street style um so zano if you guys don't know zano he's our he's our uh, our boy we sponsor him for artwork and you know zano anything the fight God, stick the related last yep um <laughs> you know if if, if money if, if i can sometimes I, I sponsor him entering tournaments that he, that he uh that he wants to go to um yeah but it, it, he's he's just our boy that's been, been uh you know riding with us since day one so and he actually his piece his first his real stick the main stick that he uses was really like me and Clev's first like hey let's try let's try to do something yeah, for yeah. yeah so he was kind of him and like Buttero were like the first guys were like hey like we're gonna try to do this like little fight stick thing so it was just I mean it, it was Xano that actually was the van, you know the first first I mean we didn't get paid for it, we just did it together right, I mean, right you asked me like yo e do this yeah yeah and yeah. Like, from there we was like oh let's do it yeah yeah. <laughs> It was just it was spontaneous as fuck, right? Uh, Blaster said Nash looks dope in the style. The hair is totally a weapon now. Yeah, fast. Yeah, for, <laughs> yeah, thanks, Blaster. Like, you know, it, it's fun to draw. You know, I know I've been doing this for what, two years now, solid, right? A little bit over. And with drawing fan art and characters like Street Fighter, you kind of don't want to stray away too too much on what they look like because people want their characters to look familiar, right? Mm -hmm. And they're iconic the way these artists, you know, Ackman and, and Bangas. And they're they're iconic the way they draw these characters. So whenever the ch whenever I get a chance to just do whatever the fuck, like you know, like this is fun. Like this is extremely fun. I don't need a reference. I don't need the one to tell me that's not okay. Mm -hmm. Like stuff like this, it's exciting to do, man. Nice, <clears throat> nice. Ooh, okay. This one's fun too. So uh, Regicide is in the chat. <laughs> go, Joe, yep. Joe. <laughs> yeah. This so, is. So, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So you know, obviously, you know. It, jo, uh, Jojo influence Ed and Ed's outfit basically is a, like a homage to it if it's not like you know what I mean mm -hmm. so it's very uh, again very very clean my lines are bold uh, Jojo pulls pulls it out he's using the what's that called the the, the, the grip is a cycle grip or a web or whatever it's called what I don't is, know what man. is Ed's move I don't know I don't, I don't know what it's called uh, but I hate that thing Snatcher, yeah. I think it's called a Psycho snatcher, snatcher, right? Yeah. Psycho Snatcher. So I right. just want him to be like he's kind of swinging the snatcher back, but also posing in the JoJo pose, like you approach me, like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun. And go ahead, John. I mean, yeah. there's a back piece to this shit that's got. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so first of all, thank you for, um, shout out to I'll Righteous right Regicide for actually, you know, making us do something creative, which I love, we love these mashup things, so, you know, it's Ed, it's Ed from Street Fighter Five. it's JoJo, um, it has references from both Street Fighter and, you know, and JoJo, like, if you look at the logo, it's the play on the, on the English version of, you know, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but it's, it's the quote of the, you know, this'll be my round, and, he has the fucking, he's doing that stupid DP that everyone hates. Um, in the T, if you guys look in the T, <laughs> you can see Psycho Upper in there, which you goddamn Ed players need to cut that bullshit out, especially with the Dash Up EX one, because that's fucking ridiculous, and I don't know why that works, but it works. <laughs> so, yeah. The back on this one, though, right? The back on this, oh, but by the way, this is, this is a prelude to the back. This logo is what's found on some of Ed's uh, artwork from like the you know the original artist for the game, right? Um, so it's the, the Neo Shadowloo logo. Now, if you guys don't know anything about Neo Shadowloo, 
They are all like possessed with psycho power, like bison psycho power, but they hate bison because they were used by bison to be either like his doubles or like whatever, right? So um, we actually did the back piece for this, which is right here. And Clever Art went ahead and did a second version. You want to tell the story why we did two? It's funny. Um, it's okay, funny. Uh, it's funny. <laughs> um, wait. Okay, I, we did two. I don't. I, draw, I like I said. Uh, we draw. I draw many versions of characters when we do this. Yeah, but, but and I just. What happened? I, I remember you telling me that certain someone said it looked a little suspect. <laughs> oh. well uh, yeah but let's not go into that i'm not trying to die john all right so so i redrew him to make it seem like like i just wanted to punch yeah i don't know i just redrew him just to see like you know what i mean i just i always have many options though there's always two yeah you only really see the one right but i kept this one because i just love the colors like with this one i wanted to go straight disney style notice how the lines are are red mm -hmm. and the, the the tone of color is different it's just a different style i personally think this is dope too yeah like no no this, the i just is think incredible. this is dope yeah <laughs> Um, so, so Righteous Regicide, you know, he also reps JXK. Uh, he has this stick. I built out this BNB for him from scratch, by the way. So I, I did build this um, particular stick for him. Um, and the background, remember I was talking about those Neo Shadowloo characters? They don't exist. The only other character that exists is the per person in green. And you guys know her as Falk. Everybody else, these lines, these silhouettes, are actually um, concept art. If you guys look up Neo Shadowloo on Google and just look just look that up, you'll see these rough sketches from you know from the game developers, artists um, of these like characters that never really made the you know into into anything digital like rendering. Um, so we don't really know if half of these characters are real. You know, th again, they are real in the fact that I did take them from concept sketches, but we know we never knew if they were like going to be finalized or anything. So. It's just interesting, but yeah, I would love to. Maybe, hopefully, they come up with a game or some sort of premise for these new guys. But yeah. you know, and the monkey, you guys know the monkey, <laughs> right? <laughs> that gorilla suspect. The gorilla. Oh if you beat the game with Ed, you see this gorilla, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh man, yeah. The gorilla's awesome. I'm sorry, the gorilla's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh man you know john was just like i'm gonna just snatch up this gorilla and this, that's who he is you know it's just like ombre what's his name what's the gorilla name that died right just says right just says winston uh, from Overwatch. what's his name ryan right uh was it harambe harambe, harambe it's just harambe, harambe, harambe yeah, yeah. chilling there we paying respect to the god like you know what i mean yeah <laughs> oh man all right but on. yo okay guys this was like I don't know for me, but this was like, I think one of the first that we did the back of the B&Bs. Yes. And it yes. took over. Like everyone's wants a back piece now. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Oh, okay. Okay. Whoa. This one. God. Like. Yeah. Actually, God, you, you, you really did most of this other than I just did the logo and like a little bit of the, the I just, yeah. I just did a little bit of background, blah, blah, blah. So, but this one, I just, with this piece, uh, with, uh, Athena, I just wanted hitboxes, like matte right? color hitbox again, guys, hitbox again, again, do you notice the trend? Hitbox Did, taking over. Was it really because of Daigo? Like, was it really? Yeah, I don't know. Um, but I just wanted to be very colorful, very different. Like, you know, I tried to at least ch switch it up. Because if you don't switch it up as an artist, you're going to get bored. Like, you know what I'm saying? So for this one, I just wanted to switch it up. Very vibrant, you know, loose on the black lines. You know, lots of color, lots of... As you can see, I'm getting better with lighting. If you see the progression of the year, you notice that I'm getting better with lighting and reflecting off skin and, and effects. And you, you can see John's improvement right now. Look at that shit. So I just hooked it up with this and I kicked it over to John. And John, explain what you did. Yeah, just uh, so he really wanted like a floral theme. I remember he said like, I also want like um, like a floral theme. So that's why we went with like this, this floral mm -hmm. pattern inside the buttons. Mm -hmm. And then he really liked, um, you know, like the Queen of Fighters type <laughs> that, that that like... That, I don't know. I don't know. If, I forgot how we came up with that, the Queen of Fighters. But you know, it was just one of the things that like it just ended up sticking. And so yeah. I made like a faux King of Fighters logo with with it saying Queen of Fighters instead. And just That's you know, so just a little bit of the game art that you see Athena on the right side. That's like one of the official game art, um, you know, graphics. Really about it, KOF. And then you could see his uh, his gamer tag really quick on the on the top side here, Mr. Beansman. That's it. And um, you know, one thing too that to notice, like you also did like this echo effect, which was really cool. 
really abstract. You, you remember you doing oh, that? Oh, yeah. That yeah. was from a brush, actually. Yeah. It's a brush from Procreate. And I'm like, I just threw it over there. Again, like I said before, like, we don't really know the outcome to this. We just we just do shit and hopefully it works out together. And it does. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I haven't seen this one finished yet. I would love to see yeah, if I didn't he see this finished one finish the build, either. you know? Um, how you do can say this is the original Psycho Power. The Psycho Ball. Psycho Ball! <laughs> yeah. So this was the... Um, short hair version of athena right because every version of athena they're yeah. always trying to change her up a little bit right yeah a lot of people were like that's blasphemy you know what i mean yeah, yeah, but this yeah. is i forgot this is 2002 i, think? I forgot what version athena? of the game i think it was 2002 athena not the, quite sure yeah oh so blaster kind of put another spin on it he said that there's an echo effect the echo effect that we did is a perfect way to capture her teleport oh see and I, look, I i i gotta admit i don't i don't really play snk but i did look up look up her moves and stuff mm. like that like i always look up the characters like you know what i mean <laughs> all right moving on oh okay this is my favorite one what we got this so first of all the, oh. the jojo one is like <laughs> the, the jojo one is definitely top five and this is by far number one for me i think for the year <laughs> oh uh, man okay okay uh, butter roll the god again I, I, like snow butter roll they they know what my background is they know yeah. what i like so you know, butter roll definitely knows what i like he grows it on his own so um this, he wanted a psychedelic alice piece and i just went ham i just he, he gave me a reference where an artist had did her the same way like melting but I took that idea and had the whole bottom of the, uh, what's this called? The uh, Butter Bomber, right? Yeah, that's so I just wa I wanted her to be like she's laying in shrooms and the shrooms are just elevating her consciousness to another <laughs> realm. Like, you know, she, 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 her body is sipping, is slipping through the ether. It is one with the source. <laughs> but... You know, at the same time, she's also calm. Look at the background. She's like in a meditative stance, the uh, the lotus stance, and she's calm. But you know, she's also flipping the fuck out. <laughs> I hear you, right? <laughs> she's she's like, just game. like, ooh, just out of there. And then I added, you know, little hints to the story: the Mad Hatter, the Rabbit's Clock, the obviously the centipede that smokes hookah. Do you already know? Pasta <laughs> hookah. <laughs> And of course, we love purple and pink, and we just love the work with those colors. They just make things pop. Uh, yeah, the third eye uh, manifesting, you know, the smoke coming out of third eye, some sort of idea of manifestation through your mental, you know, things like that. And then I did the eye to be the cat, like kind of sort of the eye, the Chester, the cat's eye, like you, you, you like in a trance, like you see it. And it also influenced from Tool. I listened to Tool and, you know, Alex Gray's art with the eye. Like I wanted to incorporate that somehow. And then I kicked it over to John. Yeah, I, I honestly I didn't really touch much. I just did that little Alice in the bat on the top. I did the buttons. Um, so the hookah that this little graphic here, right here, see what I'm pointing at. That was that was what was on you know what Clev passed me. I'm like I'm gonna just go with that, <laughs> and I just made these cloudy cool, smoky buttons, you know. And um, if you look at my hand style for the the labels, right. I, I kind of tried to capture, like, I guess what I thought was, like, this, you know, this, this crazy, like, almost, like, Indian Zen, like, you know. But it also kind of still has my, like, my urban touches because I can't not do that. <laughs> but, you know, you can see, like, the little tails on the on the labels and things like that. It's just, like, it's just what comes out when I, when I think like that. But, yeah, this piece was, this is, like, this is... If you guys see this fight stick, if you guys want to see this stick, go to um <sighs> go to go to either my Instagram or Buttercade's um yeah. uh, social media. This is definitely the best fight stick of the year. I'm sorry, like I don't care who you are. This is the fucking best fight stick that was created in 2020. I'm sorry, <laughs> like there's nothing close to it. That, the way the way a yeah, roll puts everything it together, about it. They everything don't understand. It. Like yeah, I'm sorry, and I, I don't want to be too in our own own horns. Like the artwork is the artwork, but like the way he built this thing is fucking incredible. All right, um, let's move to the back. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Again, yeah. this is the whole back started taking over. Okay. <laughs> this, is so, this is so trippy right now. I'm tripping out right now. Yo, so I, I know obviously Chester has to be in it. Right. And 
I automatically Chester knew that it, uh, Chester. I automa yeah. automatically knew that it was going to be on the back, which is why I asked Butterroll if we can work on the back art. He said, "Yeah." So then I just went with a third eye, Chester cat. Very, Yo, people like, got angry. tight about the third eye. People were, yeah, they I didn't like that. Way, you know what I mean? It uh, just, I guess, because it didn't like. It they're didn't just not make used sense. to seeing it, you know. Yeah, they're not used to seeing it, but I like it. I, I love this back piece. It could have been the front and I would have been okay with it. It's yeah. very simple. Obviously, guys, very simple. I didn't crazy. It's the back. I, you know, not a lot of people are going to see it, but you know. But oh, there uh, it is. <clears throat> if you guys remember, if you've seen the actual finished piece, there's a quote that shines through the back. Oh, man. I'm trying to find it. Is it on his Facebook? It's definitely on my on, on my Instagram, bro. Uh, let me check. Yeah, if you, guys, if you guys can't find I'll it on his it. stuff, oh, go man. check on my Instagram, at Johnny Phrase, and you'll see the finished piece. But yeah, this shit, dude, this is crazy. Again, if I sit down next to somebody with this arcade stick, <laughs> yo, Owen 2, shake hands, get the fuck out of here. I'm not playing it. <laughs> All right. So find that bad boy. Oh, here. this one. And, it, and honestly, like I said, like our artwork, at the end of the day, our work is our work. But like, it, it's the builds that really make it. Like, you know what I mean? Here's the, yeah. here's it. Here's the build. Click that link, guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Let's put in the chat, guys. You guys want to take okay, a look so, at Okay, so, okay, so, um... Our boy, yeah, Shoma, right? Shoma, no, drop loads, drop loads. Oh, drop loads. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He, he Shoma, wanted a Shoma from piece. Rival Schools. And if y'all don't know me, me, John always says I always play Rival Schools when I when I go to John's uh, spot. I just love Rival Schools. It has a charm to it. The game is dope. And the game yep. is dope, right? Right? It's yeah. just, <laughs> it's got some charm and it's great. Like you know, two you know schools are battling each other. How dope is that? You know, and uh. He wanted it. He wanted Shoma, but with the uh, um, Nationals, yeah, uniform, right? So Am yeah, right? Dro Drop Loads is a diehard Nationals fan. He's from the he's from VA, I believe, but you know VA DC, same same thing, um, kind of like New York and New Jersey. And diehard, he's been asking for a a a, a a Washington Nationals piece from us. But I'm like, yo, that's a little like different than what we do because we're not really in a baseball. You know what I mean? Like maybe we could have done it, but I don't think we would have done it justice. And he found this magical way to make it work. He's like, fuck it. We're going to mash the, the baseball guy from, from rival schools with the Nationals. And then when we heard that idea, I'm like, yo. But I told Clev, I, I knew like, because I knew Clev loves rival schools. I'm like, yo, you're it. never going to guess. Blaster, Blaster. You, yeah. That's my, that's my uh, guilty pleasure as well. Yeah. Project Justice, bro. Right. I mean, that's, that's, that's part two of this game. But I was yep. like, bro, like you'll never guess what, what we have next as a commission. And then I was, he was just like, what? Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Like, we love this shit, man. So yeah. I just went ham. Like, uh, I kept it clean, very uh again, very uh, Udon style. Uh, uh the jersey, I grabbed the logo from the internet and just threw it on there. Uh him holding the ball in one hand and then the gloves. I'm very proud of that glove, even though it's behind the buttons, but I'm very proud of how that glove came out. And then I wanted that angle where the I knew that I was gonna do that, like the bat in your face. Like he's like point I didn't get it like precisely, but I wanted to be like he's pointing at you, like you about to get hit, like you know what I mean, mm -hmm. or like you're on the ground and it's for an angle. And yeah. then a little, the little cage. I did a little stupid little cage back there just to have like that angle that it, that's that's where you're looking from, like you know what I mean. And then I did some anime clouds, but they they didn't look nothing as cool as when the background right there, like. So again, this is where John came in and saved the day. But okay, let's switch over to John. <laughs> <laughs> all right so the background you know like i kind of wanted to get a dc vibe but not dc so that that like little tower you see in the back it, it kind of represents like the monument but it's not the monument because i also wanted to make it like rival school and then you drew that fence in there i left the fence in there so it kind of represents like he's still in like a in like practice yeah, yeah. yard or something like that like a, yeah like in a, in a baseball field yeah. or whatever and then uh you know we i just nabbed that world series logo because they won the world series apparently in 2019 and you know he wanted that he wanted that logo in there but i just kind of found like a sports like um sports looking thing and did the little shoma with the number eight you know so that's basically that's basically yeah. oh and also on the rival schools i made an effect on the bat that made it look like a like a carving Right, yeah. so you, you guys see that on the bat, so it looks like it's actually carved out of the bat. It just it worked yeah. out so well. Man. Yeah, it's so, a logo on the bat, right in your face. Rival schools, without saying rival schools, this right. is great, man. Pretty awesome. This is this is definitely one of my favorites too. All right, okay, this is this is probably my number two or three. Oh, what's this that? next one? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Another one from the Hairbun Warrior himself. Right. But this time, the rare Shadow Chunk. 
A lot of people ask for Shadow Chung, right? No, no one asked for oh, Shadow Chung. Oh, Shadow Chung. Lady, actually. Shadow yeah. Lady, What's her yeah. official name? Sh Shadow, Shadow Lady? Lady. Yeah. Shadow Lady. So, wait. Shadow Lady is a creation from from Shadow Lu, uh, Shadow Lu right? I have no idea. Yeah. That's, she's short, she came out of Marvel, right? Marvel yeah. 2? She's supposed to be like a, a robot version of Chun-Li with all these extra effects, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, let me get into this, right? Yeah, go for it. <clears throat> All right, so with, with this one, I want, again, I wanted to create a very, very beautiful Chong, even though she's mostly in dark shade. Um, this is my, like, majority of my style, you know, the highlight on the cheeks, and uh, again, airbrush, a lot of reflection of gold and stuff like that. I, I did that purposely because I knew she was going to be in a darker shade. So that style, I wanted that, that, that gold to really shine out. You know the trimming and stuff like that to really shine because i knew automatically that all the details i was going to do was going to go away pretty much because she's going to have a tint of darkness of her and and street fighter 5 version of her mm -hmm. she always has like an ambient uh green or whatever that aqua is it yeah like a, that it's green like bluish aqua yeah like a bluish aqua yeah. always always reflecting over her so i knew that was going to happen automatically right so then also she has the um he had requested her to have the the screw on her hand yes and then the drill. marvel yeah. versus the drill marvel versus capcom 2 is actually a freaking drill it looks like a drill. <laughs> and i didn't want that like i didn't want to be a drill in her hand i wanted her to be just dark chun with dark power so what i did i made like her energy like that wind energy be the drill itself that's why you see her hand and like it's like it's lighting up with that you know you know the street fighter 5 flowing water energy like that like that's what i did with it and then of course there is no shadow lady without the motherfucking missiles like you yeah, know what yeah. i mean <laughs> it's like you gotta people are like where are these missiles coming from I'm like i can't explain this to you yeah. like, you have to be in the mix to understand the issues with these missiles like you know what i mean you know what i love <laughs> about this is that there's there's an inherent target somewhere on the right that she is about <laughs> to fuck this guy up yeah, have you ever seen Shadow Lady? Go, go YouTube um, Shadow Lady Street Fighter V and just watch the things that this character can do, right? So it's not Chun-Li. It's just like this. It's like Chun-Li on like 900 different steroids that She's has Marvel like combos that. and hidden missiles. And it's it's the most insane character in the game. And uh, <laughs> it just knowing like the look on her eyes like, yo, you about to get fucking lumped, bruh. <laughs> like it, with the missiles as the assist, that's over. It's just terrifying. Though. Yeah, <laughs> it's terrifying. Yeah, this, just look it up, guys. If you don't know what Shadow Lady is, just look it up and you'll see what uh, I'm talking about. Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, okay, a little bit about the background. So I found this like really cool like street scene, like a Tokyo anime street scene. But if you look closely, I added some details. Right, so I'll give you an example. Um, on the top, <laughs> top here, you see the Street Fighter V logo on, on this like banner right over here. Right, you see some of the Shadowloo guards on here, like this dude over here, and behind the behind the drill, there's another guard back there. I forgot if I hid other stuff in there, but I, I kind of just went in. It's like something on the hat. Uh, yeah, I put I put the, I put a logo on the hat. It's a he's a JXK soldier. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, okay. So and and then Hairbun was like, dude. Hairbun was like, okay. I, I if you ever played this particular um, version of Chun Li, the Shadow Lady, it's like in the extra battle in Street Fighter Five, right? And then in the title of how to fight her, it says pursue the mysterious mech. So that's where this quote comes from, right over here. It says pursue pursue the mysterious mech, right? And then um, this says you know Shadow sh Shadow Lady. Mm -hmm. In mm -hmm. Japanese over here, uh, this is katakana, which is like the you know uh, a, a way to say foreign words, like language for foreign words, the alphabet that they use. And I kind of just made this really cool stylized techy right side. I don't normally do stuff like this, but I kind of want to make something really cool, you know. And then, oh, that's uh, right, there go hair bun the guy right now. You still getting this work done? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> oh man, unfortunately, focus attack is a little backed up right now because um, they're doing really well, which is great, but. Kind of sucks because um, they're a little bit backed up, so you have to wait a little bit to get on the queue. But yeah, man, I cannot wait. Yo, Hairbun, I might actually make my own version of this, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm, I will have the second Shadow Lady B and B stick, but you have to make it first, <laughs> you know. But yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, and then we did, we did a small version of the back, which was um, 
the background again I, you could see a little bit of the work that i did you know to add oh, in some yeah, of these characters right. blending them in and then uh the missiles are still going and the missiles They're are still, still going, going all the way to the other side <laughs> yeah yeah and uh i did a play on his logo the hairbone warrior yeah, logo with, with warrior. the with the bracelets and it's, it says pursue the mysterious mech but yeah this is uh this is uh this is gonna be a fucking masterpiece dude so, and I know Hair, Airborne Wire is uh, pretty crafty on the techie side, so I know this is going to come out like fantastic. So I cannot wait right. to see this done. You know why? Because then I'm going to make mine after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah Seafo, that was the one. That was my fault. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I think this was the one you guys originally had it with the Vulex layout. That's right. That's right. Yep. Um, J-Bro, what's good? <laughs> yep. Yo, Jay Robinson, what's going on, brother? How's it going, man? All right. Uh, we're, we're nearing the end, guys. What's next? What's next? This is so good. Oh, yes. This is so yes, good. Yes, 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 yes. All right, man. Shout out to we don't even know his what's his real name. Gas. Gas. Gas burglar. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we get this request and then wait. we hide. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Jay Robinson, wait. This that's actually godlike. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, look at the top right, dog. Look at the top right. Guys, first of all, <laughs> this is, signal. I really want McDonald's right now. We I can't get, get McDonald's, man. can we? Yeah. We can't. We drive through, yeah, but it closed at five. Oh, God. <laughs> um, okay, so he had told us about this before he actually pulled pull the trigger, right? Wait, wait. Am can, I right? Yeah, can I say the quote? Yeah. Okay, he said, quote, <laughs> I want the motherfucking hamburger. Dressed as the goddamn Batman. <laughs> why? Why is this like on all levels of disrespect? But it's so awesome at the same. Time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So okay, so um, so he he he. We read this shit and we're like, what is this, salty bats? Like you know what I mean? Yeah. So. <laughs> And so I was like, fuck it, yes, this is awesome. Great, great request. Let's do it. Like, I was hyped. And then, that was a while ago. Then he hit his back up. Then he pulled the trigger. Yeah, then, so I then, think uh, he was, like, saving up. He was saving yeah, up. Yeah, he was saving up for it. Yeah. And um, so then, I had sketched out one version before this. And it, I didn't like it because it wasn't tough enough. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I was so... Okay, see, when somebody gives me a reference, sometimes I stay locked in that reference and i'm just drawing the reference so the first go around i drew it look to look exactly like the hamburger with the puffy cheeks and and stuff like that and then i'm like man fuck this <laughs> this is basically this is basically batman dog right. like you know what i'm saying this is batman what am i doing like you know what i mean mm -hmm. so then i redraw it my style my way the best way i know thick lines big ass hands like street fighter the big shoulders you know what i'm saying and then <laughs> He wanted the. I just needed to get the sickest Joker McDonald. <laughs> so I tried my best to capture it, and I'm like, yeah, I remember this scene. Though I don't know, I didn't get this from a reference, but I swear to you, this reference exists somewhere, and I don't know where. Oh, it was in but, your mind, huh? Yeah, I know that Batman did this shit right. somewhere in some comic book. He had to have done something like this. Of course. So that in my mind, I did this. He wanted the Goblin, and I'm like, yo, bet you know, he's yoking up to you know. The Joker or McDonald in the corner and the lightning striking behind him like Batman. And I'm like, this shit. I'm, I'm laughing the whole time while creating this. <laughs> and it's like, this has got to be one of the most fun layouts I've ever, that we've done yet. It's absolute joy, man. <laughs> you both said I, I just about McFucking had it with this pick. McFucking had it with this pick. <laughs> Oh, uh, you guys are the best with in the, the chat, man. With the emotes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is the... Uh, did he finish this or he, he's still getting stuff done, right? Uh, it's it's like being printed. It's on Q when, to be printed. Let me tell you guys now. I, I know it sounds like we're towing, towing our own horn, but, you know, when he finished this, this shit gonna break the internet. <laughs> if he funny. does this correctly, this is gonna it's gonna be hilarious and it's gonna break the internet. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, he did, you know, we really just wanted the art. That's why I didn't really go nuts with the buttons. Like, I kind of made, like, <laughs> uh, like, faux McDonald's logos with the labels and like burgers in the middle of the buttons but it's just funny it's just funny this shit is funny of course the the uh, the, the signal <laughs> so perfect man it's so can fun. you imagine seeing great, that man. in the sky <laughs> i'm really proud of my ambient oh, lighting God. on this the blue ambient lighting on his face what I, I, you know uh, this great, is uh what kind of stick is this i think it's an afs stick 
I think. I have no idea, but we I think it took us a while to get it, right? Yeah, or something. yeah. Something we have like to that. find it. <sighs> all right, all right. Moving on, moving on. Okay. <laughs> <I'm forfeit. laughs> exactly. Oh, let's go. This was recent. We just did this one. Yep. It was, cra- it was crazy. I'm watching the show as well. You know what I mean? Right. So, oh, yeah. Jojo. Jojo. All right, so. Jojo. All right, so with this one, obviously, is Jojo and the Star Platinum. And the client wanted, you know, Star Platinum doing the, oh, 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 you know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And, uh. And I, it was so funny because I literally just got to this section in the anime and it changed my mind about the whole anime. Like the fr- I'm sorry, first two seasons, trash. Mm. This season, godlike. Wait, so, did you say the first two seasons of JoJo for, was trash? For, first two seasons put me to sleep. I was bored. Oh, but wow. when I this season, when I saw Star Platinum came out from the back of him in the jail, I'm like, yo, who the fuck is that? Okay. I'm like, so sick. It can't be trash. They're giving you basically the backstory of why the other stories are why they are. So I'm like, how are you gonna t- how are you gonna trash the- what started the whole? I get you, and that's what everyone said. But listen, listen, that shit took me forever to get past it. It took me forever to get past it. Okay, hold on. Let me get into the artwork. All right, so the artwork is based off the manga, and if you mm. could look close, it has watercolor paper textures on it. Yes, and it has watercolor brushes that I use. Not too much though, but it's in there. It's hinted in there in his yeah. face. You can see like you, you the, can you see know, it, the hint the, of stain. You can see it the so, best right here. Like so I just wanted, is. yeah, I just wanted to pay respects to to the original, like the manga stuff and where it all took off. Like I didn't want to do super poppy colors and crazy shit. I saved that for really Star Platinum, because he's a, you know a phantom character and the glow effects from the opening cinematic was awesome. So I just took those glow effects and and before I stop and pass off to John. Do you guys notice that he's wearing the exact same gloves that Kazuha wears, but in red? Did Kazuha copy him, or mm. they copied each other? It's literally the same glove with the same spike knots on it, mm. like that. Anyway, well, that's I know JoJo was old as shit, so it could be from that too. Could be a reference, right? You think it could be a reference? But I know it's the same glove. Anyway, pass it over to John. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, man, man. Honestly, I didn't do much. The only thing that you asked me to do. I need a little bit, um, you know, for me, like this one was like uh, one of the ones where I was like, hey, man, like, what should I do in the back? And you had mentioned this, um, the tarot cards. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. The, so, the, the stands are oh, like the villains of the stands are based off tarot cards. Correct. So I, I went and found like, there's actually a set of tarot cards that you can buy for Jojo. It's like a fan. Oh, card. snap. So I actually found um, the ones I thought looked cool. And I, I laid them out in a pattern on, on the on the left side. So that's that's where you kind of see that pattern in the back. And then I just went with the standard Japanese, ora, 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 you know, for, <laughs> for the right side. Um, simple buttons, because it's just, you know, this is a H-Wrap, so I kind of want to make it, like, similar to that, that vibe. But I, I, what I love the most of this is just the guy getting duffed the fuck out on the right side. It's just crazy. Like, that guy is, like, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> like someone's like blood's flying out of what is that his jaw is that his whole jaw or is that blood it's, you, you, Joe, john you don't understand the reason why i i I'm, i love this season or this this story arc is because star platinum beats the shit out of the villains it's almost like it's so satisfying mm-hmm. like <laughs> this is why all the other seasons before this i just didn't care about because once i saw star platinum and i saw the way he punched the shit out of these villains <laughs> i'm like <laughs> Holy you shit! <laughs> this is amazing. Like you know, what I mean? you should watch the recent season. I, I, I'm catching up. Don't spoil. Don't spoil, Ryan. Yeah. Please, please. Oh, man. right. Just watches as <laughs> please, a please, print. Yeah, all right, I'm all still right. on Stardust Crusader, man. It's a. They got a lot of episodes to go, man. Yeah, Yo, season yeah. three is really long, but hey, <sighs> all I gotta say is the ending is lit. It's all awesome. yeah, man. I can't wait to get there, bro. I mean, honestly, if you're a JoJo fan, if you haven't struggled with the first seasons, just get past it like me. And this season right here is gonna lock you in. <clears throat> Crazy. All right. All right. Oh, is this our last one? This is I I probably I our last What's one. Next? I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. This. I think this should be it. This is. This is, is one of the last ones we did, right? Yeah. This is cool. Right. This is cool. I. I beautiful Joe. Yeah. You know. I mean, self-explanatory. <laughs> yeah. The art style, self-explanatory. I just wanted to steal, it. like, steal the game and put it on, you know, a stick, and I kept it real. Very Actually, solid, very simple. You know, it's your very reference simple. for this was Spider Verse. Yes, correct. The, 
My color reference. Color though. reference. My yeah. color reference was Spider Verse. In the because, background. Yeah, in the background. Because it looked because I just wanted JoJo to, I mean, uh, Beautiful JoJo to stand out. Like you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And as you can tell, like I did some little dot effects there with with his cape. I I, I made his cape like. Very sharp, like to indicate that he's like going fast or going forward, mm-hmm. and the little the light trail as he's going forward. Even the background, the yellow helps him go forward. And I just, I you know, I love the Spider Verse. If you haven't seen Spider Verse, I don't know what to tell you, bro. As it's an artist, probably yeah. that movie is transcending. Like it's just like the color palettes in that movie. It's got like, and I want it to take that. And then I just did this simple design. So and then I pass it over to John. Yeah, he just wanted, and, uh, <clears> you know. Uh, the, the client just really wanted flaming buttons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> it's pretty want, simple, right? I want some flaming ass buttons. I'm like, okay. And then uh, I just uh, found a really cool, beautiful Joe logo, like a really high res one that I was able to kind of, you know, introduce into the piece. And then I put that little quote, the henshin on go-go baby, you know, um, quote in there. Also, <laughs> so what, good, man. a little subtle <laughs> thing too, I added some of the film strips in there because a lot of, uh, you know, if, if you ever played Marvel, when, when he's in Marvel, like you see the film strips going off for his supers and stuff like that. So I had to add that shit in there, kind of give it some motion too. In the star, I, I snuck the star back there. You see his uh, his yes. uh, boomerang. Yeah, I boomerang, think it's yep. called boomerang. Right. So uh, very very fun, very fun. Very yeah, this simple. is a fun uh, piece. This is definitely like, one of the funner pieces. So as uh, you can see, like look, as you can see, like the projects are not taking as long anymore. We're we're vibing. Things are connected. Like we're just getting our groove. Like you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What else we got? Uh, <laughs> we got so we more. Got, Holy shit! We got, <laughs> we got this so one. <laughs> what we got? Oh yes. Yep. Jimmy Kami. Right. Uh Cyril Blast. Yep. Uh B and B. We did this. By the uh, way, this stick is on its way to Canada and I it's it I don't know if they lost it, but it's like fucking it's been days since they updated the tracking <laughs> and I'm getting scared. Anyway. Oh no, God, right. I hope it's not lost. Right. Um okay, so basically uh you know that Cyril Blast is a fan of Bleach and so am I. And I love that anime and it's actually coming back. But enough of that. Um uh, he just wanted a character based off that, and I blended, you know, some characters together. You know, the sword is not the same as the face skull. It's two different, two different, uh, from two different characters, and uh, I just mixed it all together. Very um, Picasso-like, because yes. if you don't know, Cyril Blast uh, is uh, non-binary. And I wanted to capture that, but you know, at first I did something else, and then you know, it wasn't it wasn't great. And then I just saw Picasso, and I remember Picasso like mixing faces, and like he would put the two faces together. And I'm like, I can use that. I can use that, and I can stay with that style. And I really am proud of this piece because it's nothing I've ever done before. It's absolutely nothing I've ever done before. Very abstract, and I wanted to really capture it. And I'm very, I'm very. Uh, I'm kind of very proud of it, and I'm yeah. glad that Cyril Black, Cyril Blast likes it too. So. Yeah, I think um, <clears throat> the one thing that I wanted to stress about this piece was that I didn't want to make it like a fighting game thing. You know what I mean? Like I didn't want it to be like uh, a clear like, okay, this guy is, plays fighting games. You know, it's like a weird layout, it's like a keyboard layout. So like, you know, clearly, clearly, it's like you don't know what this person. Could, it, you know, I don't know. Like you, you could look at this controller, and be like, what's that for? You know, it's not like clearly for like playing Street Fighter, but I think this piece yeah. is just like one of the things that um, shows that we have a little bit of versatility in our style. Like we can just do whatever that com- kind of comes to mind, right? And uh, for me, I just added like these. I, I did the logo on the bottom. I I added some of the, the lettering in the background. If you guys don't know Sierra Blast, he has these quotes. So one of his quotes is like, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like he says that a lot. And also, you know, you got Sierra blasted when he when he like uh, when he whips your ass. <laughs> like he actually yells that out, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, not for nothing. We had a lot of trouble like finalizing this piece. So, you know, just like any, it was just like, damn, I don't, because we wanted to make it a surprise. We weren't working with him directly with it. So it was like yeah. nerve wracking being like, yo, we're done. What do you think? And <laughs> thankfully yeah. he liked it, which was kind of <laughs> cool. Um, and he has a very strange button layout. If you guys haven't figured it out, this is a yeah. WASD. It's, it's, I'm, I'm trying to bring it out to the market, but it's, uh, it's probably going to be a little bit of time because it's not really a popular layout, but you gotta wait till Daigo picks it up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's take a quick look at the back, which was basically just the bat, the, the mask kind of, um, you know, multiplied out, but yep. we just, we kind of, it was more like a sponsorship thing because we sponsored, mm-hmm. um, Ciro, by the way, guys. So we, um, 
provided him with the stick. Hopefully he gets their save. I'm like freaking out right now. But uh, focus attack, Brooke, um, ourselves, you know, uh, sponsored Zero Blast for the year. And he's going to be hopefully rocking this um, on stream, more importantly, because there probably is no CPT this year. But if you do happen to see him, hopefully he will be rocking the stick in person. So that's pretty cool, man. Uh, hopefully this gets him safely and he can start enjoying yeah, too, it. Man. All right, what's next? Oh, we, 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 this is the last one. Which one? That's it, right? Oh, that's, oh, that's right. Yep. Tomorrow, right? <sighs> yeah. So this is All from right. Naruto, right? Naruto, yes. Yep. Naruto. Um, okay, so um, okay, the client, the client obviously requested this, but he gave us a reference, and in the reference, it was another art. But in that art, the art was actually made horizontal, but it, the face was slanted to make it seem like, you know, I mean, the art was made vertical. But the face was slanted so it could be viewed and you can understand who the character is horizontally. So that's why you see him. That's why you see his face, you know, tilted a little bit. So you can see horizontally it's uh, Ori or tomorrow and the snake I added licking the blood. I don't know. I just saw the snake. You know, he's always dealing with snakes. He's always seeking the white snake all all jujitsu all jitsus and all the, you know, the skills. And it, what's this character without a snake? So, mm -hmm. but I had the idea with the snake, like licking the blood, is the getting DNA of the ninja, like you know what I mean, getting the information. And that's all he's about. He's a scientist. And again, uh, I'm getting more confident with my lines, keeping this like graffiti, this weird graffiti anime type thing. I don't know. I'm stumbling on right now. Mm -hmm. Little little bit of airbrush for the face, because again, he has a soft face, so you kind of have to like. To, to create soft textures you need airbrush so the odon style isn't going to help so mm. with that i just i just laid it out uh hit a little bit with the color dodge on the on the skin of the snake so it can you know the, um, the scales can seem a little uh, um fluorescent and then after that i just hit up the john with the reference style the reference style took up a lot of the artwork so that's what i did with this piece i, I mean it took up a lot of the space so I tried to, you know, honor that by taking up a lot of the space. <clears throat> yeah, I think I pulled that. Uh, if you guys see that, like the bluish, uh, reddish, you know, logo in the background, that's what his tattoo. I forgot. Was this, this is a uh, this little uh, thing? Oh, is... the, okay. Oh, uh, that that thing is the. If you guys know, that's like the the the, the seal jujitsu the seal jitsu sign. It's the the poison mark. Yeah. That he does. I'm pretty sure. That, I mean, this some gotta be some Naruto, Naruto fans. It gotta be. <laughs> yeah. And then um, I also did the curse mark for the buttons here. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I pass it up to you. Yep. Yeah. Freaking. Uh, right, yeah. Right. Just even said it. The, the curse mark. So I kind of put mm -hmm. that in the buttons over here. And then uh, <clears> you know just did this really simple logo with his name on it. And then one of the quotes that says, "Hate only gives birth to more hate." But again, this is cool. I, I really like the I, I like the purple and gold. It's like you know, yeah, it, got, it, it does. It just works out well. Man. Yeah, it it's got great, it got man. some Lakers vibe to it. It got you know a little bit of a little bit of everything. It's, 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 it's like <laughs> very sinister, but it's still like a softer. I don't know how to explain yeah. it. It's like a sinister, but it's still like. Yeah. I think the I way mean, you colored it and styled it, it's still yeah. like playful, but it's very sinister at the, at the same yeah. time. Essentially, that's what the character is like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is now he's a good guy and some shit. It's so crazy, but all right. Yeah, sick. We didn't do a back for this, right? Yeah, they all ran to Area 51. They'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? God, those were better times, man. We didn't have virus to worry about. Oh, man. Oh, B Rad saying Evo is still set to happen. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, man. I, I doubt it. Oh, but... no. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Well, I'll see when I believe it, basically. All right, guys. Um, Last couple things. We also did some emotes. Oh, that's right. Yo, yeah. we got busy this. Yeah. This, yeah. No, we, um, did, we did some, some emotes. emails, man. It's self-explanatory. It's just straight up. These shits are fun, man. If you guys need emails, hit us up. These are a joy to do. Right. Like, I'll do them in an hour, bro. Like, these are just fun, fun stuff to do, man. Like, <clears throat> yeah, we did uh, Space Detective KH. If you guys don't know Space Detective, he's a really top, top player in Samurai Showdown. Um, just literally mauling people right now in Sam's yeah. show. He, 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 when there was a tournament season, yeah, uh, oh, yeah, when God, there was a tournament sucks. season, he would oh always place top God. eight. So, um, yeah. it's really cool. And he still streams Sam's show like predominantly. Yeah. So go check out Space uh, Detective KH. Um, you may know Child 233. He's a Balrog uh, Grandmaster, Ultimate Grandmaster yeah. Balrog. He wanted to be his uh, likeness in, in the Balrog pose. Right. Um, 
Anthony Manaya, that was kind of like your thing, Cleva. What's this about? I I oh, yeah. Uh, uh, it's a character from a game, an old game that he loved. It, it, he's, he hosts Smash tournaments, so this is the character. Like, you know, he, he, it's like a, some sort of like, you know, someone that uh, that presents things. Like, welcome to the show. Like, you know what I'm saying? I forget oh, okay. what game he's from. Like, you know what I mean? So he had the mic, like, hey, you, you know, wrestling mic and stuff like that. Very simple. Juke saying Black Battle Ed. Block Theater? Is that right? I, yeah, that, yep. Battle Block Theater. Okay. That's where it's from. That's Thanks, where he's Duke. from. That's his character. There you go. Juke got it. And then we did it. With everything assist. for Brooklyn Night. Yeah, Brooklyn Night. We yeah. blessed that. Shout guy, out to man. Brooklyn Night. You know, the boy Kev. <laughs> um, we literally did his whole shit. I even just did his stream <laughs> overlay. If you guys yeah. have been to a stream lately, it's looking kind of snazzy instead of the PS4 stream. Yeah, your boy did that. But we did <laughs> all his good, emotes. Dude. All his emotes. We did his. Uh, only thing we didn't do is his badges, I think. We did we did all his like offline screens and his like yeah. avatar, his logo. We we just we just hooked him up. <laughs> so, look like, at the guy with the money. <laughs> yeah. Just... <laughs> that one always gets me. Man. Oh, this, this guy funny, right here? Man. Yeah, the guy with the money is hilarious. Yeah, that, that's him with the money, right? <laughs> money. Oh, so he, he plays both Street Fighter and Apex Legends. Yeah. So this is Bangalore, right? That's Bangalore. Yeah, yep. Bangalore right here. So these are all his emotes. With the, so this is his logo face. Do rag Ryu because he's a Ryu main, right? Yeah. So a little mix between um, Street Fighter and um, Apex Legends. But yeah, guys, like a lot of people don't know we do emotes. So hit us up for emotes, man. You yeah. know what I mean? Like we, this, this is actually these easier for us. We'll knock out as many emotes as you want. You yeah, know? this shit is easy, yeah, bro. Like easy. you know, yeah. I whipped that shit out in an hour, bro. It's yeah. nothing. That's pretty awesome. Oh, shout outs to wait the space detective dude, right? He yeah, wanted, space detective. Uh, yep. He wanted the Yukio, but with dreads, with with uh, like uh, braids. Yeah, this is it but on the top left. This is it. But also, if you know, if you see him play on um, what's uh, the West Coast tournament? What's it? What's it called? Level up? Is yeah. it? If you see him play, he has his own special little Yukio emote next to his uh, bar in the bottom. They do for him all the time. Oh really? When he pops when he pops the uh, what's the samurai thing? Oh, samurai showdown. With the, the final form of the one hit kill yeah. i forgot the name of it but he has like a special email like it's like a yukio down there that's lights up it's so dope the guy's cool man he's yeah. cool dude. shout out to space man that's that's the yeah. hey, right there. i have a question from our group because i was showing them some pictures okay, okay. Want, yeah, yeah, yeah. he wants to know do y'all have any monster hunter or piccolo uh artwork uh no one's requested it ah, no one's requested it yeah so that remember nice. we don't i'll just... definitely do some piccolo like yeah <laughs> More Dragon Ball, please. <laughs> yeah, so you could tell those guys if they want to commission something, we're down to yeah. do it. <laughs> I, hey, hey, I got that part. <laughs> yeah, let, yeah. Me, let me try to work with some stuff, man. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I mean, we, we just like floor. sometimes uh, Clev has time to freestyle stuff, but you know, um, that, that's on him. Do. Yeah, man. Uh, just it, right now, I'm stacked, but you know, yeah, hit me up. Yeah, I'll get to it, man. I love Dragon Ball. I love Piccolo. All right, oh, so here's some of the pictures of, of the completed projects that our customers have sent us, and um, they're amazing. Oh, he, he used the gold button, but the, the last Alice. two green. I imagine yeah. you made the Alice the biggest one. <laughs> <laughs> I made Alice the biggest one because I ran, if you notice, there's like, you know, uh, six on each. I just, I was out, and then I was like, I might as well make <laughs> Alice the biggest one. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, man, what, it's so much fun. These are These look amazing, man. You guys... You guys have been building great stuff, man. Yeah, th this is uh, Paul's up here, Asian Souls, who won the raffle. Um, here's some of the Sam Show pieces that you see. That's my Dalsam stick. Oh, the Kazumi came out good. Here's the Joker. You wanted to see the Joker, right? Yeah, yeah. There it is. Yep. The Vulix. Oh, my God, dude. Hairbun Warriors Vulix. Look at this. This is insane. Uh, the Nipsey uh, Hustle. Oh, Guys, this is Snow Milks. <laughs> yeah, this is a blast, man. You yeah. guys are awesome, man. This Thanks is the best the thing ever. Like, and yeah, how you do it done? How you like... do How do people get this Fatal Fury hat? Because everyone asks me, they think it's my oh. photo. They're like, yo, <laughs> yep. I want the Fatal Fury hat. I'm like, dude, that's not my picture. You gotta holler at how you do it. <laughs> For real. Yeah. I do got an amazing collection of like S and K stuff. Like it's an amazing Yeah, so can you like this is just this is the best thing. Like, we love, like, you need to, that's a requirement, actually. I'm going to make that a requirement. You need to send us your, your, the pictures of your finished product because that's what yeah. really makes us, like, feel yeah, proud exactly. of the work that we yeah. do and happy and, like, you know, wanting to keep doing this. It just, because it brings joy to you guys and it also brings joy to us that we're able to do this for you guys. And it's just, like, it's really the best thing ever. So yeah. keep, keep sending in photos. I wish I had a, a photo for every single piece that we did. 
But um, these are the ones I managed to find on my phone, and um, I just put a little collage together for you guys. So thank you guys. Thank you, thank you guys for the support, man. This has been an amazing ride so far, man. Yep. And I'm looking forward to much more. And, and with uh, that said, we do want to thank get you guys to it. <laughs> with another giveaway for giveaway. Another... giveaway. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Who wants to win <laughs> some shit? Oh, this is Asian Souls. I almost gave Asian Souls shit away. I... Dude, that's yeah, why man, I needed a chill, label. Chill, chill. It. All right, hold on. So, guys, um, this is our second giveaway of the night. I will be mailing out these print bundles. Rules, please follow. You got to be a follower, so hit the damn follow button right now if you haven't. And if you're a sub, if you be, uh, have been so kind to sub to my channel, you get an additional ticket. Um, I will ship this out free if you live in the United States. If you don't live in the United States, though, we'll work something out. Maybe um, we'll split the, the shipment or something like that. All right. So you guys got that? Hit the follow button right now if you um, want to get down with this giveaway. But let me move over to one of my cams. Could Asian Soul win twice? Um, Asian Soul, let's be cool. If, if you happen to win, um, or you can just bow out of this one. <laughs> Yo, they, or, yo, Asian Soul, they already want you. Oh, man. Sifu, why are you hating, bro? Sifu, what you doing, Sifu? Yeah. Sifu. <laughs> Sifu. <laughs> Sifu, put the sword away, bro. <laughs> yeah, Sifu. Put, put the sword, you know? Shield the bro. <laughs> it's a question. All right, we got the Felicia. We got the Felicia. It's all jokes. Right. Oh, this giveaway oh, pack, too. Yep. Fel you guys saw Felicia? Got the Felicia. This is uh, from Snow Milk's project. All uh, right, this is a throwback one, but this is a must. Oh, I need sorry. it. Cyber Akuma. <laughs> I need it. Cyber Akuma. <laughs> yes, another butter roll. Oh my God, this stick has been sold four times. Butter roll made it. <laughs> he sold it to one guy, who sold it to another guy, who sold it to another guy. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is what's happening? Yeah. Hey, powering up, y'all. Be yeah. careful. <laughs> he level up with each purchase, repurchase. This is definitely one of my favorite prints. The Kazumi. I need it. Oh, the Kazumi? Yeah. I mean, these are some good ones, man. This is yeah, a good This is, this is a good giveaway. Yeah, this, this is I, this is the grand... grand. Nah, they're, they're, they're both good. They're both good. I, again, uh, this ain't some star uh, staple shit. This is some high quality prints. Like y'all don't understand. Like, oh, the Shao Kahn. Remember this? We had the Shao Kahn. Yes, the Shao Kahn. Yeah, this is all clever. This is all clever. We did this as like a. Like we're, a we're trying to. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to win. Let's not the talk about that. Tier. Okay, okay. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then we got the uh, the how the how how Maru. Sorry, I'm trying to get the glare not to shine. Bro, man, this is a dope giveaway. Hold up. I'm gonna have to enter this. Yeah. <laughs> Who has these pictures? <laughs> and then uh, I, I gave away the bonus. I love Metro uh, City with the Hagar Cup. I want I, I want to make this a t shirt really bad. Yeah, go ahead, John. I know, I mean, but, uh, then, then Capcom's gonna sue us. Guys, Capcom's we tried to apply for a Capcom <laughs> license and they didn't even answer our email. <laughs> Can I just say that? Can I go on record? I drafted a beautiful email. Like, all my schooling, you know, went into drafting that email. Uh, all my gentlemanness, everything that I needed to write a nice email went over, and they just haven't even replied. Yeah. They didn't even open the email. They probably fucking just trashed it on the spot. This <laughs> shit probably went to fucking spam. God damn it, oh, Capcom. Man. Is that Hagger on the cup? Yes, it's yeah. Hagger on the cup. <laughs> yeah, it's a Hagger. Come on but, now, uh, how fire is this? Straight to the spam, into the folder. spam folder. I know. <laughs> Fuck, Straight to the, yeah, exactly, Juke. They did the, this. Why, man? This why I appreciate all you guys supporting us. Cause honestly, they ain't looking for us, man. You guys are. So I yeah. love y'all, man. And if it didn't go in the spam folder, the guy moved it to the spam <laughs> folder. <laughs> he like, you he know, like what I mean? that shit spam folder. <laughs> the guy moved the shit to the spam folder. God damn it, Capcom! Why do I still support Capcom, <laughs> man? It's just an reply <laughs> email folder. Oh man, they didn't even give us a robotic reply, like right. an automatic reply at least. Like you know what I mean? All right, you guys ready for this goddamn giveaway? Let me see some let's ones in the it. chat. Let me ones see some in ones the in the chat, chat if y'all are ready for this go. giveaway. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Ryan's ready. Ryan's ready. All right, I'm going to hit the start button. This then uh, this takes a little bit of time. We got five minutes on the timer. All right. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Hit it. Exclamation point raffle. Raffle, Exclamation raffle. Point hit raffle it. 28 in the chat. You guys, come on. 
Let's go. Let's go. Rack them up. Go. Let's go. <clears throat> so, first of all, guys, uh, Clef, let's just use this time to kind of thank everybody. Um, yeah, yeah. Damn, dude, I can't believe it's been... Yeah, where it's just crazy, It's man. crazy. Guys, I, we went through so many pieces. It's almost like two and, and a that half was hours. Just, this is this year. That doesn't include the first year. So yeah. it's like, it's been amazing, man. I, again, like, I can thankful for you guys' support. I, I like, and from an artist standpoint, I know there's people that are way better than me. And I just, I know that. They're all over on Twitter. You guys see them make uh, fan art every time. But you guys choose us for these layouts. And I really appreciate it. And it means the world, honestly. From from my side, from John's side, like, it, it truly does. And we love this shit. This shit is a joy. Like, we love fighting games. We're in the scene. You know us. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? We're at the tournaments. We, <laughs> we, we, sometimes if we win tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, we got the battle royale Johnny going on the bottom. Next tournament, I got. It. Um, so, guys, what? Based on what you guys saw, what has been your favorite piece? I, I will yeah, quickly cycle us. through all the slides really quick. What's yeah. been your favorite piece? All yeah, of them. Uh, Ryan says all of them. Uh, Sanitar <laughs> says Joker. Jay Robinson says Orochimaru. Okay. Orochimaru. Orochimaru, huh? Look at this battle royale, yeah, holy shit. I'm still alive, baby, let's go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, let's go. The, go ma on, the mouse wins. Are you go on, oh Sifu. my god. Let's go. Clever let's go, art. Sifu. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go, your boy. Mouse. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, continue, continue. Damn. That's rigged. That's rigged. <laughs> We still got a we still got a raffle going, guys. Fix your face. Uh, the raffle, I, I guys! Exclamation point, point raffle! raffle. Exclamation point raffle! We still have the raffle going. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give it do another battle royale because that shit was real. <laughs> no, it wasn't, man. Power yeah. the mouse, man. <laughs> mouse Don't sleep is, on the the mouse is secretly top tier. <laughs> oh man! All right. Uh. Yeah, Blaster, that's one of my favorites, too, man. It, it really got to get in my spiritual bag with that one. I really enjoyed that one. All right, guys, there's 19 tickets <clears throat> out. 19 tickets out. Guys, come on. Earthquake, all right. Uh, um, Earthquake, Liquid yeah, Eagle Earthquake said too, Earthquake yeah. was his favorite piece. Oh, I was supposed uh, to cycle through this. Sorry, guys. Liquid Evil, exclamation point, uh, raffle. If yep. you didn't exclamation put it point, in, raffle, Liquid Evil. Uh, we still have a little bit in. of time. And, of course, that Righteous Regicide <laughs> piece. Righteous. Joker. Shout out to Righteous Regicide, yeah. bro. Always yeah, he's leveled up so much, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> always repping. Here's always all the pieces one, one last out. time, guys. I'm just cycling through it really quick. Right. Oh, man. Power Geyser. Power Geyser. <laughs> Exclamation point raffle, guys. Liquid Evil, why aren't you, why aren't you uh, joining this, uh, this raffle, dude? <laughs> Got the All Might. The Nipsey's dope, man. Oh, Hairbone won. That <laughs> Hairbone won the Battle Royale. Oh, shit. Oh, speaking of which, here's Hairbone's piece right here. Yeah. Very great, man. I love the colors on this one. Orange and gold. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. For this piece, uh, Zeno actually saw the kid. Uh, what's the name? Uh, saw the kid rocking the uh, Ryu and Alex at uh, ECT, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. He saw him. We're like, yo, we did that. <laughs> yep. That was crazy, man. All right, how much time we got left? We got one minute left, guys. Liquid Evil right. with the he's raffle. In, he's in. Oh, Liquid right. Evil, you got to follow. Make sure you follow. Hit that follow button, sir. Hit the follow button and then follow. And and, and then do the raffle. Make sure you hit follow. Uh, um, Poison. That girl is poison. What a ride, man. What a crazy ride. Dude, our hands hurt, man. Yeah, man. Felicia. That's crazy. It's crazy that um, we did a lot of these. A lot. I started a lot of these on the. I came in, came in clutch. Low Rider says guts is fire. Awesome. Guts is good. Guts is great. Yeah, guts is kind of fire. Yeah. Ori. You managed to make Fang look cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably the best compliment of the night right now. <laughs> Boy, cause that was hard, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright guys. Uh, the raffle has ended. I'm gonna pick right. the winner. And three hold on, let me let me let me get the other cam. 
All right, here we go, guys. Watch the chat. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Two, one. It's seafood one. Seafood. Seafood. Hey yo. Hey. <laughs> seafood. Yay. The homie. Hey, seafood, seafood, damn, no, he no, actually seafood. won. Don't go selling these on eBay, homie. Yeah, no, you know, we don't. <laughs> seafood's gonna put it on eBay. Oh man. Congrats, seafood. Congrats, seafood, man. Thanks a lot, guys. You, I <laughs> jinxed Asian. Asian. Oh man. All right, hold on. I gotta write seafood on this. I'm gonna forget by the morning because I'm freaking old and forget shit nowadays. Uh, it's already what time is it, man? Yeah. Stream went by fast, right? Yo, Lots seafood. Fun, um, do me a favor. Fun. Hit me up on Discord. Just send me a message with your with your address, bro. Okay, and I'll, I'll try to get this out. And guys, don't rush me on sending the shit out. I'm actually gonna send. We them. can't go outside. <laughs> I am literally gonna tell the post office to pick this up at my house. So it's gonna take a couple days for me to, to, to get this out. All right, but yeah, you will get this uh, fat pack of prints, guys. Hey, Jersey on lockdown like New York? Or... Yeah, 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 we on lockdown. Yeah, we're on lockdown. <laughs> we're on <laughs> fucking lockdown, guys. So, um. Last thing, guys, if you have anything, any other questions in the chat about our process, anything that we do, um, please ask them now. You know, we'd love to answer some questions before we head out for the night. But um, let me know, man. Let, me and Clever here, you know, rarely do we, uh, you know, get together and answer questions together. Um, if you've worked with us, you kind of know the, you know, how we work. We work as a group. We get you involved and stuff like that. But yeah, what questions do you guys have, man? Yo, if anyone has Game Pass for Xbox One, Power Rangers, uh, yeah, Battle free. for the Grid is free. Oh, word? And it's a good game. And it's very good. I love watching it, actually. I haven't played it, but I love watching it. Yeah. I was big on Power Rangers growing up, though. First first season? I think all the way to, what, White White Ranger? Tiger like yeah. Ranger, whatever it's called? I think that's when I kind of fell off after that. Yo, Clev, what's, <laughs> your, what's your top three, first of all? Top three? Yeah. Uh, now that cause you forget, you, you forgot we did half uh, of these. Uh, man, I mean, they're all my babies in a way. Um, uh, okay, uh, top three. Um, uh, F was Felicia this year? Yeah. Felicia is one of my top threes. Okay. Um, let me see. Scroll back. Oh, uh, I'll show you the uh, the side. I don't know if you can use this as your Yeah, reference. show me the side. Let me see the side. Okay, uh, Felicia, my, it's just hard for me to pick it because... I know they're you know, all a little different, but I, I guess from yeah, your perspective... Yeah, they're all very different. Yeah. I mean they're like um like they're all different because i like the one oh, for the tekken one what's her name um kazumi i like kazumi a lot too but mostly because what you did with the colors oh i got you like for me it's different like it's not just like the whole layout like i mean there's parts of the layout i like more what you've done i see uh, i guess uh butter roll uh felicia and uh, um who else man everybody else is three <laughs> yeah everybody else is straight basically yeah man. yeah i got you um all right so we got some questions let's see um oh uh, not a question but i'll probably get some art done start of august some Just sf versus everyone. dbz oh, okay right. don't awesome. do that to me rad don't don't tease me like that i know let's go <laughs> don't, let's go <laughs> we, we want you to spend your stimulus checks on us no, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guys i know you need rations i know you need Plies, but the stimulus check come on you, uh, liquid evil wants the... to know what my plans for the chulix is yeah i'm gonna get a ps4 in it um because if i put a ps4 that means i can also put a pc in it so it's either gonna be a ps4 or pc and then by the time that shit comes it's gonna be like two months three months till i get that cabinet it's gonna be like six more months and then we're into street um, ps5 already so i wanted to make sure it was hdmi ready not like jamma as much as i love like traditional arcade stuff i just wanted to make sure i can plug in a console or a pc to it so that's basically it all right guys any last questions in the chat let me know any last this questions is, this in the is, chat this, but... this piece is just different i love this piece i need to get me a butter bomber and i think i might do it i think i might do the turtle laid out yo uh, I might he might be able to make that with the butter bomber dog <clears throat> Are you ever gonna do a split all button layout that's not WASD? Um, I can the the coop. So that's a question he asked for for like I guess the B and B sticks. Mm -hmm. Um, like like a split Shokin Star layout, something like that. I mean, it's possible, man. But the only catch is that like not we we we're we're making layouts based on the demand. So that's basically you know it hasn't been in high demand, I guess. 
So if, if people are requesting, like, you know, the guys at Focus Attack tell me, like, a lot of people request this, so then we do it. Like, for instance, one of the biggest ones was Sega 2 player, right? Um, you think that year three is going to be even better? Ooh, Clev. Uh, I, w I want to say yes, but the we got to get back to locals. Honestly, like, we got to get Inside this shit can... back. This virus has got to go. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like we were, everyone is losing this energy right now because of this. Right. Like, I feel like, you know what I mean? But I honestly, I do think, yeah, it's going to get better. I, as we improve, I think people are going to realize that, yeah, we carved our own little path here. Like, we are really doing this. Like, you know what I mean? And I think it's great, you know? Yeah. I mean, it really depends on you guys. Like, at the end of the day, you guys keep us active. Like, you know? Mm -hmm. You will have the power over this. <laughs> like, you guys yeah, ever so. thought about doing something where the character actually knows that he or she is in a fight stick? <laughs> That'll be sick. That'll be something for like Deadpool. Like that's a great Deadpool layout. Like Yo. this button's heavy. Like he's pointing like it's this button, but this button sucks. You know what I mean? That'd be great. Juke. Yeah. That needs to be your that's layout. That's a great idea. Stimulus packs are layout. coming, guys. Or maybe like trying and to press great. the button. Like he's going to try to press the button. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Bert the god was good. Yeah, what up, Bert? Yeah, so I'm going to leave it on Shadow Lady right now. But man, what else <laughs> you guys got? Any last questions before me and Clev get the hell out of here? Maybe Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Can you show the evil characters you did a while when you made 10 sticks, I think? Oh, La oh, Lowrider. So, um that was actually from East Coast Throwdown. We didn't do the yeah. artwork for that. Mm -mm. Right? It's on my Instagram if you want to go back and see it, but it's not, we didn't design that artwork. That was um, done by the artist that was hired by East Coast Throwdown, and they gave us permission to make B&B &B sticks with it. Yeah. So, it's yeah. got like work too. Word, word. Adam and, and they all went out, right? All those sticks, yo, they sold in like an hour. Adam, Adam and God lay out pointing to the lever. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. That's good. That's good. But no, but using their elbows because you know you can't touch. Yeah, we can't know? touch each other. So <laughs> yeah, use their elbows, like you know what I mean. <laughs> Y'all need to stop giving me money because I actually use <laughs> use the stimulus money. <laughs> In terms of layout seafood, we're clear, man. We're ready to rock. Yeah, you know what man. I mean? That's we're ready funny. to rock. In terms of like, we just finished the Orichimaru like three days ago, last week. Yeah, we, we are clear. We finished our queue. There was one point last month that me and Clev were like, fuck. <laughs> we had to we lock had, it, right? We, we had, had like five on queue. The last five right. that you saw, we were just like, holy shit. Like, there's so many commissions right now. But yeah, we're, we're pretty good right now, actually. Uh, that yeah. was around the time you, uh, you got an income tax check. So people who did it early, I guess. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, crazy, crazy. All right, wow, guys. Wow, wow. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, again, I want to say, you know, a big freaking thank you um, for supporting yep. us. Myself, um, that's Ephraim, right? That's Clever Art. Yep. John, what Johnny Craze. Um, yes, we want to say thank you. And Ryan, hey, thanks, for, Ryan, for Ryan the, the God. Yeah, Ryan for the commentary. <laughs> Okay, Ryan with, yep. the, with the assist commentary, yep. let's go. Shout out to Ryan. <laughs> right? Shout out to Ryan. Um, Wait, everybody in the chat, um, I hopefully you guys enjoyed this stream. And hopefully we'll get to do one in um, 2021 <laughs> if this freaking virus doesn't OCV us. It's for real, man. This yeah. virus got to go, man. Yeah, man. Like, the best part is seeing you guys at the locals with the art. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Ugh. And, okay, I think that's got to be the, the rule for next for next uh you know going forward is like you have to send this artwork or we're gonna punch <laughs> you in the face <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> yeah man we're definitely gonna punch you guys in the face man. take um, care everybody be safe watch your goddamn hands yeah don't pick your fucking noses don't pick right? your fucking nose <laughs> that's right? the old that's the killer right there the killer is stop picking your nose low key yeah yeah do not pick your nose what else? Um, don't touch your face. Don't touch your mama's face. Right? Well, yes, we need to protect that corona. Take that shit. Take the like, corona. You know? Parry the corona. Good Damn. shit, Faye. Take that shit. <laughs> you need to tech the coronavirus. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> all right, guys. What a great ride. Yo. Thank you, everyone. I love you all. Be safe. Thank you, man. I appreciate all the love and support. Again, I cannot say it as much. I can't, can't say it enough. Thank you. <laughs>